on the stage. But hey, here live, man, HBT, here live, man, for NXT, guys. Hey, Norm Dorr and Dijak have started off uh, this show, man, and these guys have started off hard. The action is hard-hitting, man, and hey, Norm Dior, man, I, I got to give him credit. He's he's pretty much uh, going, you know, he's trying to take out the big man early, man. He's establishing himself very early in this match. All right, my man Green Randall is in the house. What's up, Green Randall? First in the house, man. Christopher Burton to be in as soon as possible. Uh, JL is in the house. What's up, JL? But yeah, Christopher Burton had to do some things, man. Uh, left his store and then he had to run downtown and do some things for the boss, man. You know, for the uh, manager that's over him. So uh, Christopher Burton to be, on, be in uh, here soon. Mag Magnum in the house. What's up, Mag? Whoa, man. Whoa. Die Jack just tossed the man over the ropes like, <clears throat> man, like he was doggone. <laughs> Like he was tossing out, goodness sake, like he was tossing out waste, man. Like he was tossing out trash the way he threw him out that window, man. That was just flat out crazy. What in the world's wrong with this joker? <laughs> Can't be treating a man like that. Wow, man. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> wow. I had to get something to drink. Do, 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 do. Green Randall got some questions, man. In just a moment, I might have to get focused on the screen. I can't stand the screen, but get focused on the screen so I can pretty much get y'all uh, questions and answers. And I mean, so I can uh, pretty much get your questions uh, or whatever your comments. Let's just put it like this: your comments. That's what I meant to say. Questions and answers, and I mean, so I can uh, pretty much get your questions uh, or whatever your comments. Let's just put it like All right, Green Randall, why is this Dijak versus uh, no, uh, Norm? Uh, they were building a match between Dijak and Oreo Mensa. Uh, I guess Oreo Mensa is who you're talking about. I don't know, Green Randall. Hey, subject uh, card is always subject to change, man, in wrestling. <laughs> you know, even on the big show. So who knows? Who knows what happened with Oreo Mensa? Um, I, I have no clue. So they probably have their reason for it. I guess they have their reason for it. All right, man, JL. So what do you want to talk about? I hear you, JL. JL, Lash is carrying the show. All right, JL. All right, man. <laughs> Mag says, greetings, Harry. What's up, Mag Magnum? Yeah, once again, man, glad each, each and every one of you came in here, man. Go ahead and hit that like button as you come in. D doesn't matter what platform you're on because, hey, look, those like buttons don't always stick. But go ahead and hit those like buttons a little bit later on. If you guys already hit the like button, hit it again because sometimes you got to make sure that these algorithms know that you hit that like button, man. They like to mess around with you, and they love to take those likes away from you uh, to pretty much hold you down so you can't build as quickly as you want to. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, go ahead and hit that like button as you come into the show. I appreciate that 100%, my man, everybody. Yes, it is. I, I agree with you. I agree with you on that, JL. What did you think of Holloway's knockout? Mm, I haven't seen it, JL. I haven't seen it. And I'm going to be honest with you. JL, one second left of the fight. Insane, man. I have not seen that. JL, I will look that up after the show. Appreciate that. But, yeah, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Green Randall, I am still upset about the Whoop Dogs. They could have been a force to be reckoned with. And attack in division was just the wrong time. Yeah, you know what, Green Randall, I agree with you on that. But, hey, who knows if they just went ahead and talked to, you know, went and talked to Brian Breaker. And Brian Breaker said it's time, you know. Hey, he should have been moved up. So maybe that's that was the case here. I don't know. Alistair, what's up? Alistair says hello. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm pretty sure you're saying hello. Hello, uh, Alistair. First time I seen you on the Straight Out Wrestling Show. Appreciate you joining the family, man. Welcome to the family. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Wow. JL, it is all over ESPN. JL, I don't turn on ESPN like I used to, man. I used to watch it all the time. First thing I used to turn on in the mornings. I haven't done, I haven't did that in years. So yeah, JL, I will check it out as soon as I get off here. All right, Green Randall, how are we supposed to believe Ibar is a credible threat to the North American title when he lost yesterday and has been on a mad losing streak? Well, you know what? He lost on the main roster. So that's a whole different ball game, Green Randall. And uh, you know, that right there is supposed to be a higher, a higher plane than NXT. So, you know, maybe that's the reason. All right, my man, Alistair says, uh, what did you think of the QR code? Well, the QR code is uh, pretty much uh, letting us know, you know, hey, it's it's basically uh, confirming everything 
uh, that everybody is hoping for. And as Bo Dallas is coming back, and, you know, Bo Dallas is going to uh, help carry on his brother's legacy, man. He's carrying on Bray's legacy. So, uh, yeah, I like it, uh, Alistair, uh, and uh, I hope they uh, pretty much don't play with us too long on it and pretty much go ahead and pretty much release, you know, release uh, release Bo Dallas uh, in the atmosphere, release him in WWE so he can pretty much – come in and do his work, man, and everybody else that's going to be on the, on the ride with him uh, come in out the house. Uh, so, Alistair, I look forward to that. JL, if we are being honest, Braun should have been on the main roster last year. Yes, sir, JL. Yes, sir. So, man, that's the reason. I'm pretty sure they was fast-tracking that Green Randall, uh, and even though they had that whoop dog thing, man, they had to let Braun go unless they was going to uh, brag, uh, they was gonna drag Baron Corbin up there with him, man. They had to let him go. All right, JL, if we are being honest, okay, yeah, I got that. I don't know what in the world this guy, I, I have no clue on that. There's uh, these next two here, I have no clue on that. JL, NXT feels dry, Carmelo should be on the main roster already. <clears throat> well, you know what, He uh, probably coming, but I don't think he should have got up there before Brian Breaker and uh, Solo Sokoa definitely shouldn't have got up there before neither one of them, straight up. But, yeah, uh, Carmelo, I can see him going to the main roster anytime here soon. All right, Green Randall, I just hope we get the Wolf Dolls reuniting in a few years if Corbin uh, has those years in him. Okay, I hear you, Green Randall. All right, this next person, I have no clue who this is. But, uh, look, if you, can't, if you can't bring it in English, please do. Uh, please, uh, I mean, please do not uh, continue on with whatever, you, whatever you're putting here. Uh, man, look. Uh, cause I, I can't read anything that you, that you put in here. All right, JL, it feels like they are struggling The Italian family repeat. It just feels like, um, slugging around. Okay. Green Randall, do you think Ridge is going to join the new wide stuff? He has recently been going, getting violent, seemingly out of con, uh, his control. Uh, maybe it's some supernatural wide shenanigans. All right, Alistair says, I looked in the code of the first one and said you didn't want us. Okay, okay, Alistair. Cool. Cool. All right, J.O., what is your stance on O.J.? The glove didn't fit. I'm not black. I'm O.J. situation. J.O., look, all I can really say is this. I'm going to say this, man, about O.J. Simpson. I mean, hey, uh, I don't know if he did it or not, but I'm not going to say anything bad about the dead, and I'm not going to celebrate the dead. Uh, you know, hey, if he did it, uh, if he did it, hey, he'll he'll have to answer, answer to God on that, man. And that's just straight up. Uh, but as far as uh, him as a football player, when he played, man, he was my favorite football player. Straight up. You know, I'll be straight up about that. But, you know, hey, I don't condone anybody killing their killing their wife, man. You know, I'll be straight up or, uh, you know, a Ron Goldman or whoever that was. You know, I and, I and neither one of us can sit here and actually say that he did it. You know, none of us can say actually that he did it. I mean, only uh, him and God knows. And I don't know if he uh, confessed that to his uh, children or not, or conf confessed that to somebody before he uh, passed. I have no clue. All right, Matt Madden says, I translated for you, Harry. Vlad Vladik. Vlad oh, what's your name? Okay, man, it's right there on the screen. Uh, Harry, man. Uh, yeah, HBT, Harry. All right, Green Randall. Let's see. Appreciate that, man, man. I'm Green Randall. I wonder if Bo ever felt jealous of his brother. Don't get me get me wrong. I'm sure he was happy for him, but as a brother, if my sibling was getting a bigger push in the same company, I would uh, be a bit upset. Well, Green Randall, I'm pretty sure he might have felt felt a certain way, but I'm sure he's uh, proud of Bray, too. Straight up. Green Randall, do you think this one of those Russian bots people keep talking about? I don't know, Green Randall. <laughs> I don't know. JL says, uh, Green Round, I think people are acting like they care because Bray died. Uh, give it five months, people will switch up. Yeah, that could happen, JL. Man. Man, this match is pretty good so far, guys. Nice, Die Jack. Nice. Green Round, I mean, OJ wrote an entire book title. Titled if I did it. So either way, he tried profiting off his off, off his wife's death. That's true, Green Randall. That's true. Yeah. 
Wow, man, he knocked the living daylights out of Mensa. This could have been a this. I give it two and a half stars. It could have been three stars, guys. It was a little bit longer, uh, but it was it was a great match, man. It was a very very good match. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it two and a half stars and a thumbs up. I enjoyed this match, man. I really did. Jail says I wasn't around when OJ uh, did his drama. In my opinion, it seems like a race war with people calling you this and that, depending on your skin complexion. Uh, look, uh, JL, uh, it didn't start off that way. It really didn't. You know, uh, the community uh, got behind OJ, and they just, when it really wasn't a black community's uh, fight. And I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to be straight honest. You know, it really wasn't a black community's fight. And a lot of white people, man, was behind OJ. A lot of white people believed in him, man, because, I mean, when it boils down to it, he was a bigger part of their community than he was our community. They loved him a lot more than uh, we did. But anytime, man, there's an allegation or, you know, uh, or something like that, people going to assume things. You know, they just are. It don't matter what color you are or what, but it turned into a black versus white thing in this country, man. It never should have. It was just flat out ridiculous. It really was. It really was. And then later on, you know, when a lot of black people didn't believe it, I mean, like 90 some percent. A black people didn't believe it. Then later on, black people start believing that he actually did and made jokes of it and everything like that. But, man, uh, you know, they were just looking at skin color when it boils, boils down to it. And that's a lot of things about our community in the United States, the black community. I hate to say that is we look at we look at a lot of things through the lens of uh, skin color. It's, it's crazy, but it's true. All right. Mm-hmm. JL says clean, clean wind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, AJ Skills. Hey, Harry, NXT tonight. Plus, who will be the next opponent for the NXT Championship? Also, the NXT Women's Championship tonight. Mag Magnum says, "Dirty win, two stars." Yeah, Mag, I'm gonna go ahead and give it. I'm gonna uh, bump it up to two and a half stars. But hey, I can roll with that two stars too. But yeah, I'm gonna bump it up to that two and a half. Here come a girl, Lola. Man, wow, Lola Vice, Lola Vice. That don't make no kind of sense, y'all. That don't make no kind of sense. She need to stop it, man. <laughs> she need to stop it. All right, let's see. Green Randall, honestly, I think. Televised court cases are big, viral, important ones. Will never get un, uh, get an unbiased result because even jury walking in already had their own opinion about it if uh, he did it or not. You know that's true, Green Randall. It was the first case uh, in the United States, a big case like that, man, that was broadcast live on TV. It's first one. Uh, you know, it captivated uh, America. It was nothing like that. OJ was such an icon, man. He was huge. He was huge. Uh, JL clean entrance. Uh, Lola Vice. JL Lola Vice is my new new favorite blonde. Man, she's not a blonde. <laughs> uh, look, she's definitely not a blonde, man. She's definitely not a blonde. Uh, she uh, she got blonde streaks in her hair, but she's definitely not a blonde. Uh, she's it's man. She is she's a uh, Cuban. She's Hispanic, and uh, man, very rarely you are gonna find a, a a true blonde. Out of a million, out of two, five, two, three million women, you might find two or three, maybe, maybe. But yeah, she's definitely not a blonde. All right, Mag Magnum says Lola Vice is bringing the spice, no doubt about that. <laughs> AJ Skills message retract, retracted. Uh, all right, AJ. AJ says, "Hey, Harry." All right. All right, man. So we got a good night. We got a good night of wrestling, man. Starting off real hot. I'm enjoying it, man. I am enjoying what I'm saying. But in a little while, guys, I'm going to get up and go get something to drink. Hopefully, Chris will get in here, man, because there's some good matches on this uh, card tonight. I look like we got a real good show, guys. Very good show. Yes, sir. Lola Vice bringing the spice, my man Mag says. And AJ Skill said, hey, Harry J. L., are you going to watch Mike uh, Mike Tyson versus Michael Tyson versus Jacob uh, Paulson? Mm. Michael Tyson, you talking about what Michael Tyson, man? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you threw me there, JL. AJ says, hey, Harry. I hear uh, Vince McMahon 
is returning to the business. Yeah, look, I already said something about that. It looked like, and right after that, two hours later, uh, some podcast, man, and I see that uh, some podcast, I forgot his name. But, yeah, he went ahead and put something out on it. And I know a lot of other people out here talking about it. But I did talk about that. Me and Chris actually talked about it. And then I went ahead and talked about it on the podcast. Uh, but, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, look, man, I don't know if he's returning to the business or not. Uh, there's a reason that he's taking all his money out of NXT. You know, TKO Holdings, he only owes like 4.8. He owns like 4.8, uh, you know, shares of stock you know, as a shareholder now. He's under that threshold of forcing himself weight, uh, back into the business. He had 5.1 before he sold his last, you know, his last load. I think he sold like 800, 900,000 uh, shares of stock. I mean, he, what, $900,000 of stock that he sold on his last uh, last run. So, so far, 1.8 million uh, shares of stock have been, uh, you know, he has made 1.8 million shares, um, you know, money, $1.8 million that of stock that he has sold uh, since he started selling his TKO uh, stock back to them. And, yeah, he's going to finish up. He's going to sell out. He's going to sell out the rest of that stock. There's no ends and some buts about it. And, yes, he's probably going to end up uh, – end up doing what he he does he knows wrestling that's all he knows man when it boils down to it so i wouldn't be surprised if he starts another company and if he does guys all i can say is watch out watch out aew you know hey i know i'm not aew wwe i know uh, aew haven't really given you any competition but that's competition right off the bat man right off the bat uh so and this is competition that could take you down straight up Goodness sake. All right, AJ Skills. Hey, Harry, I hear Vince McMahon is returning to the business. Yes, sir. Green Randall Raw is need of a top champion. I'm going to uh, be honest. I think Sammy right now is the top champion. He has much more star, star power uh, than Damian, and he's in a better storyline right now. I will say that. That's true. Oh, wow. Tatum, boy. Crazy. Wow. Oh, boy. This is Looney Tunes. <laughs> I love Tatum, though. I like it. I like Tatum and Lyra. I've uh, been watching a lot of Dark Side of, in the, of the Ring in the ring. Dark Side of the Ring going to watch the one on uh, Bruiser Brody uh, soon. Okay, cool. I haven't been watching any of that. I need to and report on it. Me and Chris. AJ Skills, I mean, Chris watches a lot of it. Don't He doesn't come and do shows on it, though. Hey, Harry, I hear AEW is losing money uh, for the business. Oh, I'm sure. AJ, they've been losing money since they started, man. They have not broke even yet. Green round, I'm interested to see what happens after Triple H retires. I'm interested to see if it goes uh, to another McMahon, like his, his daughter, or if it will go to another former wrestler. I don't know, Green Randall. We don't know what the future holds when it comes to wrestling right now. All right, Green Randall, AJ, in my, AJ, in my opinion, in my opinion, I don't think AEW can lose much more money uh, for the for the biz uh, than the recent allegations. Mm. Yeah, in my opinion, I don't think AEW can lose much more money for the business uh, than the recent allegations. Okay, well, no doubt, uh, Green Randall, you know, they cannot continue to lose money and stay in business. There's no way. I don't care how many, uh, I don't care how much money Tony Khan, you know, his dad have uh, pushed off to him or gave him to pretty much run this business. You know, after a while, that thing will die. That thing will go down. I don't care uh, how much gold that you have in the bank. You cannot continue to give out millions and millions of dollars uh, over and over and have no return. Straight up. All right. Green Randall says, uh, okay, just a moment here, man. Try to keep up with this thing. But Soul, I love Soul Ruka. 
Love Lola Vice too. All right, Green Randall says, you can say whatever you want about Vince being innocent or that. He's not involved in the business anymore for the general public. Sees Vince McMahon and wrestling are interchangeable. Yeah, Soka's don't. Uh, Soul right now is not out, back all the way. She's still trying to get her timing down, but she looked good. You know, she's um, making these moves a lot slower than what she used to uh, make them, but, man, she still looks good. Oh, nice, Lola. All right, Matt Madam says, Soul Ruka versus Lola uh, Vice show, uh, uh, should be an excellent match. Yes, sir. Well, I love when Lola bunchy those cakes, man. Real Rally Sport. Hi, Harry Chat. What's up, Real Rally Sport? Mag Magnum says, greetings, Rally. Oh, Lola. With that hip punch, man. Straight to the jaw of Soul Ruka. Good kick out, Soul. Oh, low. Oh, oh, Lola. The axe kick. I'm a man. Rally Sports says, I don't agree with your comment, uh, Green Randall, that Sami Zayn should be top champion. There's only two people who are going to be t uh, the top champ out the priest is Drew or CM Punk, not Sami Zayn. Also, uh, he's intercontinental champion, I guess, intercontinental champ at moment. Hi, Mag. Is, uh, is NXT good, Harry? So far, I missed the start. It's really good, man. So far, that first match, Die Jack versus uh, Norm DR. I give that uh, Norm, Norm Door. I uh, give that one, well, no, two and a half stars. Matt gave it two stars, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it up at that two and a half stars. Uh, really good match, man. Really good match. Could have been three star match, easy if it went for like another minute or two, easily. But I give it uh, two and a half stars and a thumbs up. So that that's a C. I'm giving that a C. And this match right here is uh, very good so far. Nice, so. And our girl Soul Ruka, you know, she just came back from that from that injury, but she's still looking good though. AJ Skills, uh, hey Harry, what have uh, should happen uh, that Chris Jericho should have took over the business of AEW? Oh, nice, nice Soul, I love that. Of AEW, he knows about the business and know how to book better matches, also storyline as well than Tony. I don't, I don't know AJ Skills. I have no clue. HBT, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? Christopher Burton, but yeah, I have no clue on that. Uh, who's that? A green uh, AJ Skills. If well, so you know, Ruka, a boy, she a job boy. Who is so Ruka? Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was a real good match. Real good match on that one, right? She there. a job boy. No, 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 no. I get that match. I'm going, I'm going two stars with that match, man, and a thumbs up. So, Ruka just came back from an injury, Chris. Did man, you see the whole mean? match? Well, yeah, I saw the whole match, boy. Man, that girl, no, that girl's good, man. She's good. Man, man she's a job, boy. She's losing the ball. She's losing the ball. Lola Vice, but she's a job, boy. Man, Lola Vice, man, Lola Vice, man, look, come on, man. Lola Vice is a dog on ace, boy. This girl right here going to be a champ. Boy, goodness sake, Lola, you need to stop that. Stop it. Man. Mm. All right, now come on, now you you good looking lady now, okay? But don't interrupt the Lola, okay? I don't know. They bringing that back? I guess so. 
Look at that look on Lola's face, but that smile. Woo! She's like, bring it, boy, bring it. Yeah. <laughs> she cracks me up, man. Wow. All right, man. Will Rally Sports says, quick question, Harry. Do you think we see Matt Hardy show? Hold on, Harry. Hold on. But look at this joke, boy. You up repeating little lines, boy. Who the? What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> that joker, man. <laughs> We're talking choking people, boy. Yeah, yeah, boy. I like that. That's thumbs up. That was funny, man. That was funny. <laughs> man, all he said, what's up, man? How you doing? He choking him, boy. Yeah, yeah boy. All right, man, it says, ouch, good win for Lola, one and a half, two stars. I'm rolling with two stars, man. I'm going to keep it there, man. Uh, two stars and a thumbs up. All right, my man, Will Rattlesport, about Uncle Howdy, Howdy, Bray, and the QR code. WWE keep putting up on the screen during SmackDowns and Raw's thoughts, Harry, Chris. Man, did they rally? Yeah, that's, you know, I already gave my thoughts about it a little bit earlier. I thought it was cool either way it go. I haven't looked into it, man. I'm not one of these people that's going to go and look into it. See what it says. I don't really care what it says. Only thing is, you know, the thing about the QR code is it's showing me that uh, pretty much, Uncle, you know, not Uncle Ho Howdy, man, but doggone Bo Dallas is going to come back and he's going to uh, pretty much go and he's going to, you know, he, he's pretty much going to carry on his brother's uh, legacy. And so I think that's very honorable, man. And, you know, I look forward to it. Uh, I think Bo Dallas, he's going to bring back a lot of excitement. And, you know, he's probably going to bring in a little faction with him. And they're gonna do their thing. So hey, I, I definitely oh, yeah. like that. Uh so that's all I really have to say about it, you know. But as far as looking into these QR codes, what they what they they mean and then things like that, I'm not <laughs> into it. And I'm just oh, hey, hey, down with all that, boy. I, I'm just happy that he's coming back, man. But people getting all into the semantics of that kind of stuff, man. Uh they can do that. I mean, y'all can do that. I mean, do it and let me know what you think about it. But uh HBT is not gonna get into that foolishness, man. Sorry. Oh, man, you gotta get in there, boy. You gotta get in that Tom Foolish, boy. Yeah, I'm not getting into that, man. But yeah, uh, it to me, it's just a, a showing that he's coming back. Anytime that I see somebody's coming back or whatever, I enjoy it, man. You don't have to tease me or anything like that. Just let me know that that person's coming back, man. Uh, like back in the day when they say hey, John Studd is making a return to the to the area. You know, Ricky Steamboat is making a return to the area. Greg the Hammer Valentine, you know, who's been gone for. Uh, 18 months, he's making a return to the Mid Atlantic Championship area. Man, that that used to excite the uh, excite the crowd, and that's what we look forward to. And sometimes people just show up and they just start attacking people like they do today. But you know, you know, don't don't give me gimmicks and everything like that, man. And and just do not give me gimmicks and then uh, disappoint. That's that's what I hate about gimmicks because when sometimes you give somebody gimmicks, they get disappointed. And I do not like that. I don't like that at all. And if you give me promo segments of somebody that uh, that's coming to your area that's supposed to be really good, and then when they show up, they're no good. I'm gonna be real steam. I'm gonna be really <laughs> kind of like you know, kind of like what they did with uh, what's that guy, uh, Chris? Uh, uh, Who that guy, man? That's uh, with uh, with uh, Jinder Mahal. What is his name? Oh, Vir Mahan. Yeah, Vir Mahan. That thing, man. How they teased us. That whole time, and Vim Mahan looked like a flipping monster. And then when he finally uh, they put him up there, he came in on Raw. Man, that joke just was trash, man. That kind of stuff pissed me off. Now, if you want to go back to a vignette, they would. All right, uh, Mag says, Greetings, Chris. What's up, Mag? If you want to go What's back up, to a vignette, man, when they did something really uh, well, I mean, really well, and then this guy came in and was uh, devastating, that's Guy Hall, man. Go back and look at all the vignettes that WWE did to him, introduced him to the audience and he was out there pretty much taking things from people on the streets and stuff like that going to these restaurants and just taking things from people man you sure i can't take what i want you know what I'm saying? that right there and you know what and i knew who scott hall was he was in you know all the way from scott hall from awa all the way through the nwa until uh he, he was the diamond stud i knew that mac and t8 knockoff boy mac and t8 yeah, knockoff yeah. boy exactly i mean he was a mid carter he really wasn't that good but the WWE did something very exciting, exciting with him. And look, that's the kind of stuff. If you're going to do something like that, I want that person to come in explosive. And, hey, Bo Dallas, we've seen him before. 
Not saying he's gonna come, not gonna come in here and do something explosive, but don't come in here fooling me. And then next thing you know, you have a bunch of Bray Wyatt type segments go down, and you don't know what to do with him. Because I guarantee you, right now, they have no storylines for him. They don't. They don't. And like I say, I shouldn't go on a rant that long, man. But I, I can't help myself. <laughs> man, man, come on, man, ain't that serious? I can't help serious. myself, man. <laughs> All right, Richie Matt Thews in the house. All right, let's see. All right, Will Rally Sport. Okay. Uh, Will Rally Sport says hi, Chris. Max says uh, greetings, Chris. Richie Matt Thews, why is he in the AEW? Sup, Harry? Because they because uh because of uh, uh Shawn Michaels know what he's doing. And Shawn Michaels got who is this, boy? And Shawn Michaels smart enough. I have no clue. Shawn Michaels smart enough to lean on. Oh, that's Ariana Grace, man. Oh, uh, this, uh, t- 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 um, um, whatever, some Marcel, uh, Sant- whatever. Santino, what Santino? Santino. I'm about to say Santano. I couldn't get it out, but uh, yeah, that's his daughter. Yeah, but yeah, you know, he's got he's re- he's relying on people, man. He's he's pretty much. He, I, I think he's humble enough to pretty much go to Road Dog when something is not wrong, right? He's humble hum- humble enough to go to William Regal when things are not right. He's humble enough to talk to. Fit Finley, he's humble enough to talk to Booker T. But you know, he's got people around him, and he's uh using that. He's pretty much using that to his advantage. Tony Khan too stupid to do that. Man. Straight up. Let's say this. So wow. But yeah, Richie Matthews, man. Hopefully he can get it. Hopefully he can get it together. I mean, that's that's the hope that we all have. Man. That he that he gets it together. All right, man. Ariana out here talking to uh Gigi Dolan. And then Ariana like, yeah, I'm so beautiful. And Gigi, you can be with me like me, Gigi. You don't have to put all that stuff in your hair, Gigi. Just be beautiful like me. And we can rule this whole thing. We can be queens. We can wear our we can wear our statues, stashes, and everything across our dresses. And we can be the beauty queens of NXT. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. I like Ariana though, man. She cracks me up. Bro. But there you go, buddy. He's a choke master, boy. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Okay, I'm gonna give that uh, segment a thumbs up. I knew he wasn't. I knew he wasn't out of WWE. I knew he wasn't gone. Man, this joker right here, Red Holland, but this joker crazy, boy. He unhinged, Chris. He unhinged, man. But he can roll with you back in the day, boy. Well, I don't think so, boy. I don't think so. That joker crazy. I don't know. I t- I had people like that who used to well, hang around, so I don't know, man. That joke is crazy, though, boy. Just don't <laughs> let him get in no firearms, man. I'll be like, we don't shoot people here. You might shoot somebody. <laughs> Not saying nobody had guns back then, Chris. I'm just saying we didn't shoot people. <laughs> you don't well, let somebody like you be near a gun. That joke got a hinge, Chris. <laughs> Chris boy. Goodness sake, man. Wow. Well, what in the world are we at at the what's name? I'm about to go back and strike that from the doggone show, but that that uh, uh comment <laughs> saying <laughs> my NXT might be like, oh, we're gonna strike him. <laughs> he mentioned a firearm. Well, Rich Holland, boy, I knew he wasn't done. Boy, that joke talking about you done wrestling. That joke ain't done wrestling, boy. Man, no, he's not. That joker boy, he'll get man. He, he don't got kind of used to making that long bread, Chris. Long bread, boy. Heck yeah. All right. Who is this dude? He wrestling, man. What the LWO dude, man? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I thought that's who that was, but I. Okay. Okay. I couldn't with these uh trunks. These uh, I couldn't tell with the man with these long trunks that he got on. Nice. Oh, oh my well, Red's trying to kill the dude, man. Oh, wow. Wow, he messed up right there. Yeah, but broke his hand by what he did, boy. Thank you. All right, Rally. I hope I got your comment, man. Nice clothesline. Rally says, you missed my comment. Do you think... We see Matt Hardy turn up. No, I read that in WWE. Uh, has uh, I hope not, man. I hope not, man. He needs to. He's putting a pick on his Twitter. 
Uh, to WWE. I hope not either, Chris. Oh gosh. He needs to stay gone, man. Yeah, Eric Rowan uh canceling Andy Bookings is interesting. Uh what what he's doing. You know, Eric Rowan, I don't care. I really don't care about Eric Rowan either. You know, uh, I'll just be honest. Uh, I really don't. Uh as far as Matt Hardy, Will Rally Sport, I have no hey, look, man. I like I liked him at in NXT when it first started, when NXT first started in the first couple years. Uh, you know, very interesting. But NXT, Matt Hardy? NXT, Matt Hardy was never NXT. No, Chris, 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 I liked him because of who he was, not his performance in the ring. Oh, not at all. Uh, and look, I could, I could, uh, I could be without him, man. I don't need him in my life, Chris, in my wrestling life. I don't need no Matt Hardy, man. But as far as AEW, he gave them some name recognition. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, he did. You know, that's what I liked about him. He 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 gave them, uh, he gave them a prominent name, somebody that, uh, you know, hey, that they could hang their hats on. Yeah. You know, outside outside of Sting, and then you know, bringing in CM Punk. Who else over there was bigger than uh, Matt Hardy? Yeah. When it boiled down, be right. Hold on. All right, but yeah, he was the biggest name over there outside of those two. You know, Matt Hardy was. So, you know, I, I give I I will give Matt Hardy credit for that. But please, no, I don't want to see Matt Hardy back. I do not nah. want to see Matt Hardy back in the WWE. Nah. Uh, you know, he just please don't let, let him go to TNA, man. Let him go to TNA. Yeah, so. yeah, de most definitely. He he doesn't bring anything unless he's gonna come. Unless he's gonna come to uh, you know, WWE. I, I mean, there could be a position found for him. But hey, uh, come come, let him come in oh, and say shoot. have the Hardy the Hardy Boys, the Hardy Boys. Uh, I don't know the Hardy Boys room or whatever, and people have to go in there and they have to talk. Uh, you know, he, he, he mainly talked to tag teams since he was a tag team specialist for most of his career. I mean, he done some things solo, but we know that uh, his legacy is with his oh. brother. Oh, shoot! Goodness, okay. Oh, snap! But they, they could do something like that, rally. You know, the Hardy's boy, Hardy boy, Matt Hardy's uh house or, or something man let him do something that's going to be very interesting but uh and, and let him be a manager or something man but as far as him as far Rain, as no don't do it no i don't want to ever see that again. i don't want to ever see that again now if he came to an indie show and do and, and wrestle me and chris we probably go see him <laughs> but i should spill boy sean spill They need to, oh. oh man, big Josh Briggs, boy, big Joshua Briggs, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Richie Matthews, don't oh, shoot up, Chris. What you eating? Uh. OG, laugh out loud. Oh, man. I had some uh, baked salmon and uh, some rice. Hey, that sounds great. All right, Mag Magnum says, Harry ain't falling for the QO code version of the banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> laugh out loud. Hey, no, I'm not. Uh, dang. Boy, that's, that's funny. Uh -oh. Chris, what's this? Man, Ivor, your your voice don't match, bro. That is Ivor he's talking to, isn't it? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's him. His voice don't match, boy. Man, he he need he need, he need to be, you know, speaking of banana and tailpipe, man. He needs to be talking like this. His voice need to get deeper. Hey, look, man, we ain't falling for you know. I ain't falling for the banana and the tailpipe, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you and Jensen, you know what I'm saying? You guys didn't get it done. I will tell you what, I ain't falling for that. Hey, when I get out oh, here, I know they ain't about to. What well, they about to feed? No fee and blade the AOP. Yeah, they are, man. I'm about to, I was gonna tell you that. I was about to say you need to get back because they are. But I'll go, you know, that's what I bought. I bought you to be like, look, man, you know, you come back here, you're talking all this noise and everything. I'm going to show you what I'm about tonight. That's how he should have been talking. Not like, look, man, I'm going <laughs> to jump flat out crazy, Christopher Burton. Boy, that's my girl right there, boy. Well, that ain't nothing but a Phil Hell 2.0, boy. You're doing right, boy. I like that, boy. I boy, like that. Like them nutcases, boy. Them loony beans. I like them, boy. Oh, she a nut, boy. I like that. 
That's Steel's big sister, man. <laughs> a little sister. One or the two. But damn, bro. Goodness sake, bro. He gonna smack the crap out of Lorenzo. I know you're trying to take over. I know you're trying to take over. Boy, well, he gonna have him whack right in the ring, Chris. He's gonna have him whack right on live TV, bro. <laughs> okay, bro. All right, Riley Sport. Hey, you, you, he took Ilya to the doggone bridge, man. Come on, man. Put him in the trunk. So, hey, I wouldn't put nothing past that dude. All right, Riley Sport says, uh, uh, that then guessing he might return to WWE, which is cool. I watched Eric Rowan uh, do a Mania live stream the other day. Go, go, go. I can deal with him more than I can Matt Hardy, man. <laughs> I can't yeah. Deal. Just please, no Matt Hardy. Just don't get – I don't want to have nothing to do with no Matt. All right, AJ Skills, hey, Harry and Chris. WWE draft for SmackDown and Monday Night Raw is coming real soon. Yes, sir, AJ Skills. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, Richie Matthews, Carlos Santana, laugh out loud. And, yeah. Man, what a doggone guitar player. All right, Green Randall loves the new directions. They are taking uh, Ridge. Okay. Hey, Ridge just – that joke is just a nut, man. Pure nut. All right. Marcus Brown, Harry, and Chris, what's going on with y'all uh, tonight? Thanks for the stream last night. It made Raw more watchable. Thank you, uh, Matt. Uh, Marcus Brown. Yeah, thank you, Marcus, man. Thank you, Marcus. Randall, I don't think the new wide stuff is needed. We already have so much going on right now. It's true, Green Randall. That's the reason I don't believe they have anything for him, man. I really don't. I really don't. So it, it just... If you don't have anything for somebody, man, just, please don't bring him in. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. Have a plan for him. You know there was no plan for doggone Mercedes Monet over in AEW. There was no plan at all. Because you know what? What are they doing? They're trying to doggone set her up a few with her off of uh, somebody who beat her over, uh, you know, I mean, she got injured, but beat her over in uh, Strong Japan. I mean, over in New Japan. Not New Japan Pro Wrestling. Strong, uh, strong uh, women's champ uh, for the strong women's championship over there, and they they using that with Will, uh, with Willow, and they haven't even uh, wrestled yet. So it, it's getting kind of crazy. Please don't put anybody in there unless you got a dog, unless you got a plan for them, man. All right, let's see. All right, Green Round. I don't think the new wide stuff. Okay, got that. Marcus Brown, Aaron, Chris, Matt Hardy supposedly is going to be involved in the wide six stable. He and wide it was a tag team. Y6 will have both Dallas, Strowman, uh, Ro Rowan, uh, Bliss, and Cross with Hardy as the manager. Okay, okay. Okay, that sounds good. All right, uh, let's see. Grand Randall says Brooke needs to go to the uh, back of the line. The Dragon Slayer already beat him. Okay. Already beat him down. Grand Randall, good line from Brooks. All right, Marcus Brown says, at Green Randall, WWE is doing this Y6 story for Bray, and his brother won't. Uh, it, uh, are you are really gonna crap on WWE for doing it? They want to dictate, dedicate his legacy. Look, uh, let me see. Uh, the last, the last, uh, last uh, match, what you get at, Chris? That's the only one I haven't read. Uh, if I'm gonna go uh, up above one. I'll give it one, man. Yeah, it wasn't a bad match, man. It just, it's just that. I just give it one star, man. Yeah, Ridge get winning that deal. What he's supposed to do, okay? Yeah. Um, and there your girl right there. Anyway, one to one and a half star. Oh heck yeah, man! This right here is beautiful. Five star segment already. Woo! Love this girl, boy. Trash, boy. Trash. Personality, boy. Trash. Why you want to dog out my girl, man? Why you want to dog out me and Brayden's girl, man? Trash. Seeing you suffer, seeing your people in the pack out, seeing you with tears down your cheeks. Yeah, I had to throw in the towel. In that moment, I didn't care what it called. I just wanted you to be okay. Mr. Kate, why did you tell me I treated you so badly? It's so aw
What about the cow? Honestly, I just hope that one day you would understand where my heart is that night and every night for that night. It's always in the form of the hell. That's a chase. I'm sorry, I ever doubted your belief in me. I'm sorry. Chase. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it, boy. Chris, like, boy, this, this is what I'm talking about. Chris, boy, Chris, I know, man, as soon as you get off, you be like, look, I be thinking like I don't like, like that stuff going down and chase you, man, and now I'm still hell. And I know, Chris, man, I know you love me, boy. You got man, me. I'd rather watch Tony Storm for seven hours straight before oh, I watch that's a, five that's minutes. A right. That's a lie. That's a lie right there, boy. When you, no, boy when that's Storm how much I'm on. on. When Tony Storm come on, boy, you feel like you got diarrhea, boy. <laughs> you feel like diarrhea coming on when Tony Storm come on. <laughs> but that's how much I'd rather watch her than watch five minutes of No, no, head, you, boy. man, that's a lie, man. That's Ooh, a lie. Come on good. now. You know. Phil Hill is not that bad, man. It's just a joke, man. Come on yeah. now. Nikki, you don't go like Nikki Cross and you up there laughing at, that Nikki Cross was worse than that when I first saw Nikki Cross. You laughing at all giggling. <laughs> I'm like, Chris, who in the heck is this crazy woman? Man, this woman is going nuts, man. Who is this? That man, she's screaming through the whole building. You laughing and giggling your tail off. Man, that was Nikki way worse than you, girl. Hey, Nikki, man, Nikki like, Cross makes sense, boy. Nikki no, it did. But you know, she didn't make no kind of sense. Yes, she did, man. Oh, no, she did not, man. I'm like, I've never seen anything like that in wrestling, man. Hey, come on, I man. mean, that woman was doggone. Uh, she was doggone Brute Bernard. She was doggone uh George the Animal Steel. The missing link, he was all of them combined, man. He was crazy. But I'm like, I was just looking at you like, what in the heck? And you were just, it was entertaining the heck out of you. It was, boy. So now, no, no. So now, anytime you see a girl that's kind of like crazy or whatever, you can't stand it. If it ain't Nikki Cross, you can't stand it. Now there you don't got to the point. Where, then you got to the point where you didn't, you couldn't stand Nikki Cross. I know what happened, man. Chris Dilworth said something to you. <laughs> That's what happened. Chris Dilworth, Hills for Life got to you, boy. <laughs> yeah, they got to you. Yeah, they said something. I bet he said something. I bet I can go back into his archives. Probably I probably can ask him. Did you say something about uh you say something about these crazy girls and stuff like that? Gimmicks like that? Because Chris is all against it now. Chris is just he can't get a hold of it. He can't gravitate toward it. Something you, like that. You. It, it, I mean, man, you're worse than me when it comes to stuff like that, man. You are awful, man. Like, uh, it, you know, this whole thing with uh, what's that, that the old timey lady? All the stuff, some of the stuff is actually funny. All of it, not not bad. But man, you had like every single bit of it, man. Is the somebody gave somebody the, somebody gave you some soup, man, and they ended up putting some doggone uh, some buttermilk in it or something like that. <laughs> I'm talking what? about. It. I'm talking about cut it up buttermilk, but that's where you at, like man. I mean, I'm just like everything about it is just awful, and it's not. So I'm just like I'm wondering about you, man. I'm just like, you know, you don't, you're not into any foolishness now, which I believe is good. But I mean, <laughs> hey, Theo Hell is just funny to me, man. She's funny. I mean, you know, hey, I don't get that much. I really never liked it. I think I started liking it because you hated it <laughs> so much. <laughs> No catch crew, boy. Hey, boy. Well, they better leave dog on the dawn alone, boy. All right, we'll get you comments in just a minute. Yeah. Uh, turn it down just a little bit, my man. Oh, yeah. Mr. Dempsey, you and your crew. She'll be all right, though. Oh, wow. Thank you. 
I didn't make a mistake, boy. Hey, hey, turn your down now, man. Man, I want them to go. On. I want them to take that. I, I want that cup out of there. I don't had. I don't had enough of those matches. <laughs> <clears throat> Mm. Oh shoot! But God, but but there they go here. Boom! <laughs> oh, they beating it, man! They beating no gone. Man, they beat Charlie Dempsey's crew up, boy. Where was a uh, Gulak at? Yeah, exactly, boy. Them boys were like, man, that's horrible, boy. Man, they beat them up, boy. Tossed them out of the ring like they was nothing. And when Marcus at Green Round of WWE is doing the wide uh wide six story for Bray and his brother. Uh I think I already read uh, read that. Yeah. Think, are you uh, really gonna crap on WWE or whatever? Harry and Chris, I'm not gonna stop getting WWE um uh, what well, I'm not gonna stop getting wives until I have a full year. Of them in my list, uh, 385 women. What kind of crap is that? Is it 365? <laughs> what kind of crap is that? Man, this joker crazy, man. This dude. <laughs> Give me just a second, man. All right, let me see. Go up here. I can get them a lot faster. All right, man, Marcus Brown, uh, Matt Hardy most likely wants to be a producer backstage, mostly for the tag team division. That's what he needs to do. Yeah. Exactly what he needs to do. I have no problem with that. All right, man, my man Marshall Vandal is in the house. What's up, Marshall? Glad that you're rocking with us on the uh, Straight Up Wrestling family, man, rocking with us tonight on the NXT. All right, Real Riley Sport, I want to see the Y6 uh, would be cool if six wrestlers turned up. In my opinion, AOP and NXT – is Karrion Cross with them in NXT? I'm not sure. I'm not watching NXT. And you didn't mention Karrion Cross. Guessing he's not there. No, they don't even have him uh, on the card, no. man. I guess not. Marcus Brown, Harry, Chris, Mercedes run in AEW was doomed day one. Exactly. Expecting Mercedes to botch like crazy and be horrible. And why uh, was she moaning last Wednesday? <laughs> I thought I was watching an adult oh, film. Oh, mm, oh Lord. Marshall Vandal, laugh out loud, Harry. AEW will stand strong. Japan for the ticket, uh, linked by the one manager, Mercedes. Uh, more born, more born. <laughs> wow. Let's see. All right, Marcus says, this uh, Thea is just so sexy. Marcus, wow, boy. We got Braden in the house, too. Braden, boy, my, uh, Marcus, you need to shut up, boy. Marcus said, Thea is just so sexy. All right, James L., why is NXT better than AEW? James L., we already explained that, man. <laughs> yeah, for real. Already explained that one. I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory. Look at the people who's running uh, the NXT. Look at the people that's running uh, AEW. You know, AEW, only one person running it when it boils down to it, but he got brilliant minds around him, but he, around him, but he refused to use them. All right, Green Randall, more calendar uh, university sports. Uh, all right, uh, Braden says spots. You say spots, I mean. Braden says, hey, let's go. What's up, Braden? Braden says, uh, up, Braden? Amazing. Braden wrestling opinions, chase you. <laughs> Brain says, I'll say about 15 stars, maybe still a little under. <laughs> yeah, Brain says, nah, I see your <clears throat> eyes glued to the TV, Chris. <laughs> Man. Marcus Brown, James L. NXT is better because they focus on the storylines while booking fantastic matches with characters. Also, HBK is booking NXT. That's true, man. They they are on the storylines, and they do a very good job with it. I think they go overboard with a lot of the women thing 
uh, with a lot of women's, but I, I think they just let them be chaotic sometimes, which is still cool. Marcus Brown still can get it any time of the week, just straight beauty. Wow, Marcus. <laughs> Yeah, I like I like her a lot, man. Straight up, Brayden says I, I I read Drew Gulak is getting released. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Man, he's a good talent, man. Very good talent. All right, Brayden says uh, because of what Ronda Rousey said about him. Oh, oh yeah, Ronda causing trouble, man. And it ain't even in the company. Yeah, Marcus Brown. Every woman in NXT is on a is I mean is attractive, except for the strong face lady. <laughs> strong face lady. All right, Brayden wrestling opinions. Whoa, Marcus, that's my only girl. But hey, Brady said that's my only girl. Hey, yeah, well, she's more of she's more of a Braden man when it boils down to it. Braden, he claimed the first, so we're gonna roll with that. Braden says, I don't know why, but I can't stand this dude, Tony D. <laughs> Braden, he's pretty special, man. Braden, he's pretty dog. Who coming good. out here, bro? Who coming out here, bro? Hey, yo, you drag no. All right, Marcus Brown, Braden wrestling the beans. Yeah, what he might have did work? because Ronda is take is talking trash Dang about up. the company that made her relevant. Man, you see, man, what in the world's going on? All these jokers up here trying to god dog going get the Ilya bus open challenge. I thought one was gonna. Oh wow! I lost all respect for her. Uh, she turned into another mark. I hear you. Oh, this is that dude, man. Who's supposed to be really good? This joker look like dog on boy. The way he jumped over there, man. The way he's standing, that joker remind me of you, uh, you ride, man. Right. He, he do, man. <laughs> over at APW. <laughs> All right. Yeah, boy, you get messed up now. Look at you. You don't know what to do now. Yeah, he what? do. He do look like do. He, he do look like you ride, right, boy. Yeah, he does, man. I mean, Stan like him has the same kind of balance that he has. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Joker All right, James L. Sup, Marcus, and yeah. Joker getting messed up, boy. Getting Man, this Joker over. can't wrestle with no ill you're dragging off. And they, I don't care. You know, everybody said he was really exciting last week. I don't care how good he was or whatever. But this dude right here does not deserve to be hey. in the ring right now with Ilya. All right, hey, Brayden no, Wrestling well. Opinions. Yeah, she just tried to get attention, in my opinion. Yeah, that's true, Brayden. Uh, Drew Gulak, man, they should not. They shouldn't jump to conclusions and, uh, and yeah. put him out of the, you know, put him out of WWE that fast over some allegation that she made. Because look, I, I just wow. This joker just can't. Bro. This joker getting tore up, boy. He needs to get tore up. Wow, wow. Look at man, mess this fool up, boy. Let's do, man. Marcus Brown, brain wrestling opinions. I would trade with you. Uh, Thea is just so sexy. Yeah. <laughs> JL, Chris saw some fishes and ate it tonight. So now Chris is the real deal. I mean, real done. I hear you, JL. Wow, man. That was a dead joke. Just delivered a nice super kick on uh, hey, dear, boy. on Ilya. But yeah, man, she is. She's oh, she's wait, the throat. Hey, you didn't see that? But look at that. We play. Why caught him in the throat? Goodness sake, man. Yeah, he did. Wow. This joke look like, what you doing? Now, Marcus Brown says, James L. Hi. I mean, all right. Brayden, no, I would decline to trade if you offered all the women in the wrestling business. <laughs> I hear you, Brayden. Oh, boy. Yeah, man, she stand and deliver, man. Uh, that showed me a different side of doggone Theo, boy. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're beautiful, man. All right, Marcus Brown. But, yeah, all those women over there in NXT are. When it boils down to it, about every one of them are. So, yeah, they – I mean, all the way up into the main roster, man, you – it's hardly – you know, it's hardly anybody that you could say is lower than a seven. Uh, you know, I mean, when it boils down to it, really, it, really that's that's true. All of, all of them are looking, this man. Joke getting told, even, bro. Even, this even Chris women, those big girls, but they even look good. They <laughs> look pretty good. <laughs> joke getting told, boy. Hey, Chris, Christopher Burton, nah, Jackson, boy, and Piper. Yeah, Give him, boy. Don't mind it, boy. Look, you said close line, buddy. Larry, boy. God almighty. <laughs> he turned that joke inside out. What is dude looking like, boy? Man, I got a two, I was going to say two-star destruction, boy. <laughs> 
All right, Marcus Brown, the NXT Cup is basically what the international championship or the title Okada has in AEW. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. All right, Marcus Brown, Braden Wrestling Opinions. I might have to take Theo from you, uh, Yummy. Nah, you can't be doing that, man. This is the family, man. This is the family. All right, Braden Wrestling Opinions. Nah, bro. <laughs> well, I need to take that out on the street, but handle that. Yeah, it ain't going to be out on the streets, man. This is the oh, family, shoot, man. Oh, and we negotiate this thing, Chris. I well, mean, we take just, it out on the street, boy. That's how we negotiate, boy. You don't get the say, man. You that's nice, boy. Man, look, man. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna have this again. We're <laughs> not gonna have them dog on. You're not gonna push dog on you. Uh, I don't give a darn what's going on Triple H, but you're not gonna push another dude on me like you did this dog on uh, this this uh this dog on. I won't call him not a formal football player, but this uh football this this uh. But the greatest receiver Carolina ever seen, boy. This impersonator, this football this impersonator, this boy, impersonator hey, this joke, football this player. Getting, oh Goodness sake, man. Man trying to kill us, dude. But he dude, but, man, hey, he but, needed. But, 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 dude, but man, I'd be like, man, it's time to quit. Boy. This joker quit. kicked out of that, Chris. All right, Marcus. Says Brayden wrestling the pains, he's cracking up. By the way, a badass heel. I'm turning. All right, oh. Brayden says, I'm already in a triple threat with Nathan Fraser and Riley Osborne. Not gonna make it a fatal four way. <laughs> <laughs> this what man, you, uh uh, man, no. What are you talking no. about to do, boy? I don't like it, boy. I can tell you that now. Well, who is this Evans, boy? It was man, this was Rob, man. Is <laughs> he any kind of James Evans from Good Times, boy? Probably. <laughs> but that was the worst fog splash I've ever seen in my life, boy. It was awful, boy. Man. Oh, that one right there, yeah. Oh, he did. Rob does that, too. <laughs> Evans, boy. Oh, Evans, only Evans I know is Bob Evans, and he makes sausage. <laughs> yep, yep. You're exactly right, Chris. Definitely does, man. You can find him in your local freezer section at your yeah, local grocery yeah, store. Got a nice elbow smash, man. Where's it, boy? Two and a half stars, Chris. Very good, man. Yeah, but yeah. Please, I don't want them building this dude up, man, and making him another doggone uh, Trent Williams. All right, Braden wrestling opinions cracking up. Uh, Braden says, I'm going to start training for that match now. Braden says, my baby J uh, J uh, Javon Evans. Yeah, man, he's a, he's pretty darn good, you know, when it boils down to it, Braden. But he just can't be doing, he he from, can't be doing that against, man. He can't be doing that against Ilya. Uh, Braden says, uh, this good dude is so good, pretty darn good. All right, Marcus Brown says, Braden wrestling opinion since Thea is your girl. I'm just gonna uh, take her a uh, twin then. <laughs> also, the, uh, the girl that's rolling with uh, rolling with Anofi and Blade. I gotta give it to him, man. He, he gave he put up a fight. Yeah, Braden yeah, said that's yeah, fine yeah. with me. She's an imp an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> she is, man. She she is. She's still hell 2.0. At least trying to be her. Who the heck is this? Oh, yeah, Karma Petrovic, who went up with uh, her and Lola Vice, man. Very good match. There's Lola. Well, Lola look good tonight, boy. That match. But there she go, boy. Y'all talked up, boy. I got to go to the bathroom. Boy, I'll be there, boy. Man, yeah, you're a trip. Man, I, I like, I like what's the name, man. But I got to go to the bathroom. I like Petrovic. Well, I like the Russian girl. She, but she's but, pretty hot. I don't, I, don't, I don't go to the bathroom, boy. I'm but this right here, 15, girl, right here. Uh, but I'm being there about 15, 20 minutes, y'all. I'll be back, boy. I'll be back. Man, go on. Just go on, man. Go on, man. Just go on. Man, I know you talked to dog on Chris Dilworth, man. I know you did. Look at her, man. She look like man. It don't matter, Chris. Oh my god, she up there talking about like, 
What, yeah, what is that? Her. I love her. I love her. That's Braden's girl. That's Braden's woman, man. Let's have respect for Braden, man. Have respect for your boy. All right, AJ too. Skills. Hey, Harry, everybody say LA Knight. Yeah, let me talk to you. Uh, yeah, LA Knight versus AJ Styles on Friday night, SmackDown. Yeah. All right, Marcus Brown, Harry, Chris, this Javon Evans could be the new Swerve Strickland in book, right? That's oh, true. Lord. Mercy. That's true. All right, Braden wrestling opinions. Why put him in with Ilya? Makes no sense. That's what I don't like yeah, about it. Don't, right? don't. Yeah, don't. Yeah, oh, because they had an open challenge and they just, I don't know. Boy. Yeah, I hope Javon uh, lose uh, looking strong. Don't ruin this uh, man's potential. He did look strong, man. And Ilya Gaten, you know, dapped him up at the end of the match. Braden says, "So, Chris, if she was uh, to put on a bunch of pounds, would you? Would you? Could, you could consider? <laughs> I might, but I might. Not. I'm pretty sure you would. <laughs> I, think, I might. I might, I might give put on seventy now. pounds. Chris be like, oh, you looking pretty good. Put on about an extra twenty, and man, you we can talk. <laughs> hey, heck yeah, but matter of fact, I got a pork chop in my pocket for you, girl. Man, look, look, I got already right? built. They're already built, boy. She nah, she got a nice build to her. I was shocked. <laughs> yeah, I was shocked to stand and deliver. I was like, wow." That girl got a bill to her, man. All right, Marcus Brown, Harry and Chris. I get confirmation on 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 Julia uh, debut. She will debut uh, debut at NXT Heat Wave is in one of those women's title match. I see her getting a Oscar run and beating Roxanne Perez for a title. Go all the way with her. I don't know, Marcus, man. I like Roxanne. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Julia, man, she, she's she's uh, she's good. Another Kari saying you asked me, a little bit bigger, not too much bigger, but another Kari saying that uh, when it boils down to it. All right, man. Uh, let's see. All right, Braden says, "Man, my love for Thea is worth taking it to the streets." I hear you, Braden. I, I told you, boy. I told you, Braden. Braden, 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 Braden. All right, Green Randall Dragon off putting on the best match of the night. All right, Marcus Brown, Braden wrestling opinions. Relax, bro. We are family. I'm talking. I'm taking a look alike. <laughs> Marcus Brown, crack it up. Mag Magnum dragging off match gets two to two and a half stars. Yeah, pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it that two and a half. Mag, yeah. I don't know what Chris gave it. I give it. I give it two. Okay, Marcus only Brown because says, we was uh, wrestling. Only because we was wrestling. All right, man. I'm gonna go down to two stars then. Marcus Brown, Javon looked good in defeat. That's all that matters. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down to two because of that that bad frog splash, man. Uh, that, that was awful. All right, that but bad, yeah, it remind me of Uriah. Uriah be hitting them things like that too. Well, Uriah does it a little bit better. All right, but not much. Braden wrestling opinions cracking up. Braden wrestling opinions agreed. He looks good, but no reason to put him in there with him. That's true. Marcus Brown, Carmen, Carmen is a bit. So now you get Petrovic is your wife too, huh? Uh, his wife twenty three and Lola's wife twenty four. <laughs> wow, Marcus. Marcus Brown, Tatum, his wife twenty five. Man, I like Tatum Paxton, but she don't lost something with mine. Did you see her earlier, Chris? No, I didn't see her. Man, she was talking about live rock carry. I was your friend and stuff like that. But now, now she was going crazy. And we knew she was Looney Tunes anyway. She yeah, and, you it, so too, and you love it. And you love it. And you love it. Yeah, yeah. No, you not your flipping mind, man. You this it, girl man. flipping crazy, man. She too yeah. dark for me. What's the difference between her and Theo? Man, Theo's not dark, man. She ain't but no they both, But they both crazy. No, man, man y'all go look. You, like, you used to like Nikki Cross, man. She crazy. Hey, nah, Jax is crazy. Nah, Jax is not crazy. Nah, nah Jax is crazy, man. But she is not crazy. Attacking right. people, uh, choking them out, beating them that's, down that's, all the time. That's, man. man, she don't that's, do that that's no more. That's the sign man. of a crazy person. Man, look, man, she don't do you trust she, a woman like that. Brayden wrestling the pins. Come on, Chris. Yeah, come on, Chris. Brayden says. Yeah, Brayden says. You know you love it. Brayden wrestling the pins. I know you would if she hit your minimum weight. You would be one to to debate against me or for her. Yep. But so Ruka, boy. Oh, she want Blair Davenport. She might even be her. I don't know about Lola. But Blair Davenport ain't no joke either. Man, I got something. That I, I got to dog. Hold on for a second, Chris. This ain't happening. Man, dang, I got some big bug that came in. Oh, boy, boy, I can't. Tatum Paxley, but Tatum Paxley. Two Looney Tunes in here, boy. Tatum crazy. But you got two. But I told you, but look, 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 you got two Looney oh, Tunes snap. in here. Oh, snap. But well, Theo don't know about her, boy. Theo backing up. Like, this girl crazy. 
But you got two Looney Tunes in there, Tatum. man. Tatum's pretty talented, too, but you know, Tatum, man, Thea is a great wrestler. Hey, that little girl got it. Tough, oh, Tatum, buddy. that is nice, Tatum. Wow. She crazy, Tough, Chris. But I told you, but hey, you got two crazy jokers in there, buddy. That, hey, I, I figured you would love this, but this right that man. I'm surprised y'all ain't got this at 12 stars already, but boom, boy. My look, my girl, uh, but Phil, boy, goodness, but, goodness sake, man. But y'all need to have this at 12 star match already, but that's what I'm talking about. Like a little, you know, she, she'll be like a little sister to me, man, and somebody to protect. But uh, let's see, wow, man, she is Tatum crazy, boy. Hey, but Marcus Brown, you right, boy. I am, but that's what I'm trying to picture in my Marcus head. Brown boy. love, boy, but he loves Tatum, boy. But no, but Marcus, hey, Marcus, talking about I'm over here trying to make a uh, night on a plate of mac and cheese with a big glass of root beer, boy. Well, I know you are, but that right there, Sue Chris, just fine, boy. Man, covered in covered in brown gravy. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap! Mm -hmm. Well, Chris will love that, boy. Tatum got some dog on talent, man. She can't mess with that live Valkyrie, dog. I can tell you that. Oh, she can't mess with no live Valkyrie, boy. Yeah, she can forget that. Oh, Lord, but she's straight just choking on my God, dog. Yeah, yeah, man. What the world? I ain't never seen nothing like this, boy. No, I haven't either. Goodness sake, man. All right, Brayden says, Chase, you. Marcus Brown, uh, Chris be over here. Trying to imagine now on a plate of mac and cheese. Oh, you yeah, you read that. Look at Theo, hey. boy. She's looking, boy. This more, but this, but this. Goodness <sighs> sake. But this, this need to be a loser go to the loony being match, boy. <laughs> Man, you crazy. That's Great wrestling the figures. Nice. There, there's my, there she is with that move, boy. But, but, nice hey, double man, this, fly, but double need, but this, this need to be a, this need to be a loser, uh, well, straight jacket match, boy. Man, Thea is so good, boy. Wow. <laughs> Braden says Lola Vice not too bad either. No, she's not, Braden. No, she's not, boy. She Look is. Look at her. She's off my way, boy. <laughs> man, that girl is so talented, man. That's the reason there I like go. her, man. There you go. Wrestling ability. Yeah. Oh, that's man, five, five stars. Dang, that, that was five stars. Five stars. Man, that was five rude, stars. man. That was rude. Five no. stars, bro. Five stars. Bro. I love it, boy. Five stars, bro. Go dive at her. There you go. There you go. Now, look. What are you talking about, Chris? Why she got to do all this? Hey? All this ain't the match. Over with. Why she got to do all this, man? See, see, see. That's what, man. And y'all chill. What's saying out there without go J.C. Jane? But y'all chill for this crazy joke of man. Boy, this what y'all like. Man, let Theo at her. Oh, man, wait a minute. Boy, Lala about Kerry got her, boy. Man, it's too much going on. It's going down. <laughs> But this, now this high book of show right here, but just have fighting everywhere. <laughs> nah, that wasn't no saying. I thought that was Rock saying out there with JC. Well, Rock saying ain't going out. PK is pretty dog. It's pretty cute too, man. Well, Rock saying parades, but that's what it's all about. Bro. Yeah, she a hottie too. I don't know, man. It kind of goes down for me a little bit, man, because she's a heel. But she, I don't know, she, uh, she's a likable heel, but it just, I mean, for some reason, I feel that's her for real, man. <laughs> it seems like that's her for real. <laughs> yeah, but she, she doesn't, look, she changed. It, it was too easy for her, Chris. It's like she always been like this, man. Had everybody fooled, but I was just nice, innocent. You're a beautiful little girl, man. Well, Chris won't able, boy. <laughs> but, but, no, boy. boy. Rock's daughter. That more about six foot four, boy. She, she's tall, man. I don't think she's no six four. They got her listed at 5'10. She might be six feet tall, Chris. She's just way bigger than all these women. Wow, man. She is huge, man. How tall is that girl? Man, I don't know. Six, two, six, two, <laughs> I, told 30, 
<laughs> but oh, it ain't come, but here come my, but here come my folk, but here come my folk, but here come my people, boy. Here come my people, boy. Harry can't stand them, boy. Hey, no. All right, Marcus Brown, Harry, uh, Julia can be another carry. She looks like a thicker carry. That's why they're mine. I hear yeah, they're very similar, man. All right, Marcus Brown, uh, Braden Wrestling Opinions. Thank you, bro. That's that's why she's my wife, 24. Uh, no, number 24, Braden no. Wrestling Opinions. Let's go, Thea. All right, Marcus Brown, Soul Ruka, his wife, 26. Goodness sake. <laughs> So it's true. Hey, wrestling opinions. Tatum is a weirdo. Yes, he is. Man, wait a minute. Y'all like Phil, but y'all oh, man, no, come man. On, man. That is a total different. Come that's on, a total different on, vibe, there, man. And you know it. Come on, come you know on it. Man. man. Crazy is crazy. Man. No, man. Egg, no. Egg, no. I mean, uh, there's fun crazy, and then there's crazy that you can't dog on close your eyes on. Hey, you just did it on Theo, boy. You're crazy. Theo, sweet as all the way, but she can wake you up, and, I'll, and she'll be, uh, she'll be, uh, she'll be doggone apologizing to you on the next day, on the next, uh, you know, uh, probably a few minutes later, let you go to sleep, and then wake you up again, acting all crazy. But that's still though. That's that's her, man. But yeah, she'll be fun. You know I mean, very fun. But nah, this Tatum, this Tatum Paxley, man. Uh, uh-uh. yeah, that that girl there. Well, she'll have your dog. Your, she'll have your butt dog going praying to an upside uh, down cross, boy. <laughs> yeah, you some crazy stuff, boy. I'm serious, man. No doubt about it. But some stuff the dog go, a stuff be like, hey, hey, I didn't grow up like this now. Hey, hey. my mom, man, my mom was a my mom was a real Christian lady, man. She she brought me up to be a real Christian. My my grandparents brought me up, man, to uh the pretty much they'll go respect the Lord, man. But this woman right here got me praying to upside down cross, boy. That woman right there. Say the Paxley boy, have you dog gonna lose your religion, boy? You don't want to mess with somebody like that, Chris. That's your best of your world, boy. Hey, hey, see, have you up there listening to Ozzy Osbourne, boy? All right, boy. <laughs> I know. Have your boy going back, man, listening to uh, who's that dude, man? Not Ozzy, man. I forgot his name. He he became a Christian later on. I forgot his name. He's little oh, uh, Marilyn Manson, boy. Huh? Marilyn Manson, he, boy. No, not Marilyn Manson. Uh, let's see. I can't think of the name. He used to buy hit bats off of the uh, that, was, that, was Ozzie. Ozzie. Huh? that was Ozzy. That was Ozzy. Ozzy did that, and this guy used to do something like that too. Forgot his name. He's real popular, man. If I could think of it, you would know who he is. Uh just a moment. I'm taking myself out of here for a minute. All right. So here he had to dip out for a second, guys. All right, Brayden said, uh, Marcus said, Brayden and Payne's Taylor, what is that's my wife, bro? <laughs> Y'all tripping, boy. Brayden said, Thea gonna destroy her. who, uh, this, whoever she is, <laughs> but it didn't work out that way, Brayden. Didn't work out that way, Brayden. Oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> Y'all tripping, boy. Brayden said, Why is she crawling on my girl like that? I'm not gonna keep watching this on the sides. <laughs> Y'all got me cracking up, boy. Y'all got me cracking up in here, boy. <laughs> Mark said, Brayden, up in here. He's cracking up. We, it's cool, bro. Brayden says, uh, stupid stuff. I'm taking J.C. Jane to the streets and figuring out who her boyfriend is. <laughs> y'all got me a tripping, boy. Ooh, y'all got me cracking up, boy. Oh, man, y'all got me cracking up. Boy, oh, wait to watch this, 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 uh, this horrible match, but he was about to get messed up, boy. AOP, boy. Uh-oh. 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 They trying to fight back, boy, I like this. Man, Mark says you calling um to me to make make me a rough tomorrow. I promise I won't cheat for my twenty six watch. Y'all tripping, boy? Uh oh. Oh, good God Almighty! 
Hey, boy. Harry had to get out of here, boy. He don't like AOP, man. He had to get out of here. He's seen him by the Russell, boy. Straight trash. Man, you crazy. Straight trash, man. Nofi and Nofi and uh, Blade straight trash, boy. Oh, no. Now they straight trash. <laughs> Man, you put these boys against some quality wrestlers, man. They might, they might show you something, man. They putting these jokers against these jokes, man. Man, LP is not gonna show me nothing, man. But they even said these must remind them of the road warriors, boy. They just said that, boy. Coming to oh you. gosh, oh god, that's an insult to dog on walking animals. You come know on. that, Chris. Come on, hey, hey, that's what that's what they just said. I ain't said what, that, the, but the, they what, just said what the, what the road warriors, man, when they was in their forties. Right at the oh, end of their doggone careers, <laughs> you know it don't look like the World Warriors man from from the eighties. You know that don't look nothing like the World Warriors from the eighties. Nothing like them. Can you imagine if these two took on the World Warriors, Chris? Think if these two took on the World Warriors in a match. Yeah, why this joke is still kicking out? Hey, why you kick, man? Just let it be over with, man. Why you think if this out? team right here took on Barbarian and Warlord, Chris? Like the war, Road Warriors did. How long do you think they would have lasted against Warlord and Barbarian? This team. Oh, I'm sure they would probably give them. If, if they was in no, a no, fight no, with no, them, no. Drugs, they would have fought back, boy. They wouldn't. They, they would might. They would have been trying to fight back. They would have got beat down. You know that, man. Come on. That, that, that's mean. not a. That's not a top tag team. Uh, that. There's not a tag top tag team I can name from the '80s that these guys could have beat. What does Joker trying now, to do now? Is Paul Ellering out there? Yeah, I see him. What this fool trying to do, boy? Oh, this fool about to get caught, boy. (laughs) (laughs) What, you kick me off, man? I love it, buddy. Boy, I love it, buddy. I didn't boy. mean to kick you off, man. I was trying to uh, break Boom. myself back on, man. Look at it. Boom. I love it, boy. I love it. I love it. Love it All right, I man. Let, let me go. Go ahead and give me that line. Uh, give me that line, dog. On the uh, star ranking that you that you have in the back of your head. I, I can go with a solid two and a half. One and a half stars, man. You out your fucking mind. That was two and a half star match. One and a half stars. That was trash. That was trash. Man, look who they wrestling. They ain't wrestling nobody, man. I don't, man. man. That was trash. These guys could not. They couldn't put on a good match, man. If they'll go. I don't care if you put Bruiser and Crusher in there. I'm talking about Bruiser and Crusher in their prime in there against these guys. They could not put on a good oh, match. Oh, they got some Ricky Steamboat and Jay Hey, you need to get your boy in there. Man, these jokers can't beat no next man. They way bigger than Axiom and Nathan Fraser, but come on, man. You need to get your boys here. Now, goodness sake, man. Now this joker dog gonna show up again. I got it. I got to get him. I got to get him. Just a moment, Chris. <laughs> what joke gonna jump on your face like a like a buzzer? What is <laughs> Jump on your butt. I'm gonna hear Harry over there howling, screaming, boy. Brain said zero stars. Brain said wrestling pin. Uh, Marcus says breaking wrestling pins. Where JC is dating a fellow black brother. Okay. Brain said Thea is gonna jump jump her once she get out of the stadium. And I'm gonna have a bag. <laughs> Did Brain say zero stars, man? On that match, man. Yeah, I think he was talking. No, I think he was talking about uh that dog on Thea match, boy. Okay, I thought you were talking about the dog on LP man. I would have cracked up, man, because I know Braden like him too, I think. Yeah, I would have cracked up. All right, man. Okay. Yeah, JC, man, that was a bunch of – that junk is crazy. All right, Mark said, uh, word uh, is JC is dating a fellow bra- black brother. Okay. Oh, I got all that, man. I got all that, boy. Okay. All right, man. Yeah, I, I didn't see all that stuff. Where you at on it? everything? Brian said, man, these refs need to let Thea go and defend herself. Always getting cheated out. Oh, yeah, that's true, man. Of course she had to spice it up. Uh, Brian 
Man, her and Dart and uh, her, her and Darby look like they made for each other, but they need to they need need to reunite, boy. <laughs> oh, they would. Uh, she was dating Darby. Oh, she was married to him, man. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, Darby, Darby and uh and Gigi Dolan used to be married, man. Yep, that used to be his wife. I thought you knew that. No, I didn't know that. This Ariana girl is a trip, boy. <laughs> Well, man, man, man said Thea Hill versus Taylor Max get three stars because of extra credit attacks. Oh, okay, who said that? Max said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can yeah. roll with that. Yeah, the tax, the tax, give it five stars, boy. Yeah, it was good, man. It was, it was pretty good. Field, boy. Oh boy, look at that, boy. Wow. I like that. I like what he's coming out in. How he coming out? His entry. <laughs> Marcus Brown said, "Yes, yes, yes. Just slap some gravy on Laura and tie them in. Oh, Laura, wife number twenty-seven. Yeah, I might end up with thirty wives." Roxanne is no. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, whoa, Marcus, hold up now. Hold on now, Marcus. Hey, 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 hey now. Me, hey, me, me, and Roxanne, we talking now. We talking. You ain't know that. Man, you got to be crazy, man. We Roxanne, talking, don't man. you y'all gonna mess with this Joker? That man, Joker talking, had about those sixty pounds on you and dog on four months, man. <laughs> Three to four months. You got hey, sixty hey, pounds man. added to you, girl. Uh-huh. Hey man, hey, we we talking now. I don't I don't talk to your women. <laughs> I don't talk to your women, Marcus. Now don't don't talk to mine now. <laughs> All right, Marcus Brown says, "Mag Magnum, not only uh, you are a LA Knight, but also you are an incredible uh, match uh, raider." All right, Marcus, <laughs> man, hey, he, hey, he, he like what you are doing, Mag. Braden wrestling opinions. Tatum Paxley sponsoring Monster Energy. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, Monster Energy. <laughs> I know what Braden said there. Marcus Brown, Braden Wrestling Opinions. I'm going to join her. All right, Chris, if anybody on Facebook, let me know. I don't think we had anybody on Facebook so far. No. Braden says, man, have fun. And Thea, uh, just stick to coffee. We don't take energy that far. All right, Bag Magnum, at Marcus Brown, thank you, sir. Take a chance and rate some matches with us. All right. Marcus Brown, Braden Wrestling Opinions. Me and you should double a move, movie watch. Uh, you take Thea, and I will pick any of my wives, and we can hang out, laugh out loud. Brain wrestling opinions cracking up. Brain, brain wrestling opinions, man, come on. Uh, man, come one AOP better than Road Warriors. Come in, Harry. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, Marcus Brown, man, Magnum, I just rate the whole show. I don't usually do individual match ratings. That's your job. I won't interfere with your business. All right, Marcus Brown, I did crazy uh, chicks to quote what Punk said to AJ Lee and Tatum. Is a crazy chick. I dig it. <laughs> Mag Magnum at Marcus Brown, right on. I can dig it. Yeah, Braden Wrestling Opinions. Demolition dreamed of having the in ring talent of this. <laughs> Marcus well, yeah, Brown. So, hey, now when it comes to demolition, I agree with that. Now when it comes to demolition, I agree with that all day. What about that? That they Tomorrow. dreamed of having that kind yeah. of type of talent? Exactly. Demolition was better than AOP, man. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> come on, man. Dude, we should, come on. Now. <laughs> but uh, I mean, the guys that was in Demolition at one time, they was really good, Chris. They was they were basically when it was Demolition, they was out of their primes, man. They really were. <laughs> <laughs> they, they did. They was big, big, overweight, uh, Royal Warrior wannabes, man. Really was. And when yeah. Royal Warriors got up there, Legion of Doom still was good, but nowhere near as what they was. They what they no, were. No, 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 no. Man. But they were still good. But yeah, they they didn't have. It's kind of like he was five, four to five years late on them, just like he was about seven years late on Flair, man. You know. So I'm like, uh, but wow. Let's see. All right, Marcus Brown, Mad Magnum, 100, uh, 100. Let's see. All right, Mad Magnum says that tag match gets two stars. I gotta go one and a half stars, but I'm gonna jump up two stars since Chris said two and a half. And then Mag, you want two stars, and I'll go ahead and go in between you two. I'll go with two stars. All right, Brayden says, uh, so now we got Harry's favorite two teams of all time, the OC and AOP. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they both in, both of them over there in NXT. <laughs> Boy, this is horrible, man. This is horrible, man. <laughs> Boy, I, they, they both need to doggone wrestle each other and try to kill each other, man. But you tripping, boy. You tripping, boy. I want foreign objects. I want everything in this match, man. <laughs> I, I mean, I want botches. I want everything. I want these guys to hurt each other, boy. Put it, put both both teams out of the ring, man. Both of them put each other out. All right, Marcus Brown. 
Harry and Chris, don't forget the draft means main roster can go uh, can get drafted to NXT. Wow. So there's a chance Carrion can go back. He needs to go back. All right, brain wrestling opinions. Uh, well, he needs to skip it to tell you the truth. He needs to skip the draft. He needs to skip a. He needs to skip skip uh, NXT and need to go to a TNA or something. Brain wrestling opinions, man. AOP got one, got a one. All right, Marcus Brown said Darby Allen used to date Gigi and she dumped him. I heard he was too wild. Well, no, they didn't date. They was married. Let's see, Marcus Brown, Chris, uh, uh, bro, now and Piper Niven. Or your girls, oh, I'm telling on you. <laughs> Marcus Brown, I mean Piper Niven, yes. Great wrestling opinion, uh, Chris. You said two and a half stars for that? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. exactly. Oh, good God almighty. Woo! Ivar. <laughs> I thought Ivar was, oh, I thought he was taking on. Uh, no, he done. He done on Briggs. Thing, not Josh Briggs. No, they. Uh, this is a match to see who's going to fight. Uh, over okay, field. okay. Marquis McQueen, big brother, boy. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Rally Sports says, Chris likes Piper Niven. Oh, boy, he got all flustered uh, and everything. Laugh out loud at Marcus. All right, <laughs> Mad- Madam Briggs versus Ibar Clash of the Titans. Yeah, no doubt. Boy, nice one, Briggs, nice. Goodness sake. Well, Briggs, oh, shoot, that hurt his dog on ribs, man. Yeah, he did. Marcus Brown said, hey, and Chris, uh, said, hey, and Chris, since Tom uh, and his brothers all in WWE, soon y'all going to think Bullet Club comes to WWE and Cody leads it. Yeah, they mm. would, but they can't get the rights for it, though. They can't call it yeah. Bullet Club. Yeah. All right, Will Rattle Sports says, I'm guessing – AOP and Karrion Cross will go back to NXT. I'm not sure if they're on main roster or NXT. Not sure. No, no nobody's sure about that rally. I, like I said, I don't know what they're doing here, man. All right, Rally Sports says, Alvar everywhere, Raw and now NXT, wrestling two nights in a row. Yes, he is. All right, Brayden Wrestling Opinions, Alvar is very good. Yes, he oh, is. Yeah, he is good, man. He, he yeah. is a good time. Man. Yeah, Marcus uh, uh, Brown will Rally Sports. He's cracking up. Now is his girl a beefy steak. He's trying to steal Roxanne from me. She's mine. Whoa, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Look here, man. Hey, sometimes you got to have a little Taco of bill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Chris. All right, Will Rally Sport. Is that Josh Briggs or someone else? The big tail guy. The big tall guy. Yeah, that's Josh Briggs, uh, Rally Sport. Boom. Goodness sake, Alvar, man. Just dropped him. That just. Ivar is working Josh Briggs. This is a good match here. Boy, he's hurting, boy. He hurting. Yeah, yeah. Braden Wrestling Opinions. Did y'all watch the Bray Wyatt documentary? It was so good. Chris, oh, yeah, I, I watched it, man. It was I'm good. surprised it he haven't done a show on it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it tomorrow, man. All right, Marcus Brown said, yeah, that's Briggs. Yeah, I got to watch it. I got to watch it. We need to do a, a, a show on it, Chris. All right, uh, Will Riley Sports said, I watched Bray Doc. Braden, I cried emotional. Uh, that was yeah, my uh, friend told me. Uh, friend, another friend of mine told me he was uh, very emotional on that. He had to start oh, crying. Boy, yeah, it was, but that's that thing. Was, oof. Hmm. Oh man. Why are you going to get some tea, man? I just, I didn't though. Yeah, brain says, yeah, man, I was crying. Brain said it was so sad. I guess I'll be crying, probably cry. It probably made me cry too. I'm about to go and check it out, man. Chris said, I think Chris said he almost cried. I almost but, did, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna have to check this thing out. I mean, it's easy to do that because you get, you know, he so many people loved him and his mm-hmm. life got cut so short. So, you know, there's so much potential with him. So it's easy, man, to you know get emotional like that. And and then when I think of his family, man, gracious, obviously he was close with his family, you know? And, hey, I, I love Mike Rotondo and, and Barry Wyndham, man, you know. I love the Wyndham family, man, So and, and Rotondo. So, and that's that's just thinking of a man in the family, Chris. That's not thinking about his sisters, uh, his uh, uh That did it, boy. Oh, wow, boy. That, that did it. Hey, that's it, boy. That's it, boy. That should be it. Wow. 
God the Almighty. I will beat the lemon daylight daylights out of Josh Briggs, man. Yeah, he did, boy. I got to roll with Ivar, man. I mean, I, I'm I'm going two and a half stars on this. What about you? Yeah, I can go two and a half on that too, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he was, Brayden. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, Brayton says uh, <clears throat> Bo Dallas made it so meaningful and then with JoJo. Okay. Dude, stop it, man. Goodness sake. Shouldn't have been in the way, fool. Did, uh, Ivar knocked the crap out of him as he came. No, over, over Femi. Over Femi, bro. Knocked him out. Trying to get out of Yeah, trying to get out of the door, boy. All right. Uh, then my man Marcus Brown says, uh, Harry and Chris, now since Seamus returned with his old theme, where is Triple H trying to push to bring Jim Johnston uh, back to do themes? He knows Dev Rebel sucks. Okay. Man, speaking of doggone uh, Seamus, boy, people, well, people dogging the crap out of his uh, appearance, man. Oh, yeah. Seamus, uh, you know, yeah. He's... He just looks so different. Just put it that way. Will Riley Sport. Everyone seen Matt Hardy's new Twitter video tonight. Hmm, interesting. Uh, he put it on Twitter just before NXT started. Yeah, just as long as he don't come back in the wrestling role, man. I don't, uh, you know, I don't mind him coming back. As long as it's not in the wrestling role. Let's see. All right, Brayden Wrestling Opinions. Barry Wyndham was so good. I love watching his old matches. Yeah, Brayden. Barry Wyndham was. He was an incredible wrestler. Yeah. Man. Incredible. All right, Marcus Brown, Harry, and Chris, who, who's more likely to return to WWE on uh, TV Weekly, Brandy Rose or JoJo? Also, there's used to be announcers before Samantha Irvin took over. Uh, probably JoJo. It won't be Brandy Rose. You, you know, Brandy, so, No, no, man. Brandy's, Brandy's comfortable just being Cody's uh, wife, man, uh, and, and being a mother and maybe showing up every now and then. That's, that's her role. That's what she wants to play. And... I just I think she will always play the background. Uh, you know, when Cody does retire, I think she's gonna love it for she wants Cody to be in an executive position, uh, pretty much get a lot more power in the company. That's the type of person she is, man. She likes playing that little uh, you know, that girly role, uh, you know, that womanly role as as the helper of a man. That's 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 her. So yeah, I don't see her pretty much. I don't think that's gonna be a big deal with her as far as coming back. And trying to play a role on TV, she will play a small role, but I don't think she's going to try to get back and play a major role on TV. All right, Matt Magnum, Ivar match gets two stars, too short, yes sir. But yeah, I'm rolling with two. Uh -uh, it's on that uh, Wale stuff, boy. I I'm sick of Trick Williams, man. I like him, and then I don't. And it just, this has nothing to do with football either. <laughs> Brayden Wrestling Opinions, uh, okay. Marcus says, uh, okay. Uh, Marcus Brown, Will Rally Sport, yeah, I seen it. He either joins Y6. That's cool, man. That's cool. I like the outfit. I like his uh, track suit. That's old troop suit, ain't it, boy? That's what it looks like. <laughs> Either he joins uh, Y6 as a manager, or he's uh, going to be a producer backstage, or he can even train the young talent. That's true, Marcus. Brain wrestling opinions. Yeah, he put on some weight. Yes, sir. Uh, James L. Laugh out loud. Chris, uh, face expression is me tomorrow when Dynamite hits. <laughs> I got to see Dynamite just because of the craziness, man, that's going on. James L. Marcus Brown. Oh, yeah, my three wives in triple th in a triple threat for the NXT Women's Championship. I think I'm going to pass out. <laughs> James L. I laugh out loud. Marcus Brown, Brandy uh, would be good, would do good in WWE. I always loves her promo skills and charisma. I can imagine her and Jay talking trash again. Yeah, that's true, Marcus. That's true. Wow, Tony Schiavone. 
Tony wow. Schiavone. Yeah, he said, I don't care. He said, F you. He's talking to the fans. He said five minutes ago, man, Tony Schiavone is angry with, fan, angry with fans comparing AEW to WCW. He said, I don't care. F you. I believe it, too, because Tony done got like that lately. <laughs> no need to get mad, Tony. Hey, you mm-hmm. know, the way I look at it, Tony, part of this is your fault, man. And you you, know you made your, you your own bed, boy. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, you don't have the guts to speak up to Tony Khan. And, and look, me and Chris, we neither one of us blame you. When it boils down to it, collect your money, man, and go. And that's what you've been doing, mm-hmm. you know. But after a while, after a while, man, I, I know you got enough money, and you're 66 years old. After a while, you have to look at you have to look at the joke and say, "Hey, I could have went and worked for David Crockett, but I decided to come back and work for you." This crap is garbage, like and it's never going to work. And this company is going to continue to go down. Sometimes, man, you got to stand up on you. You know, you got to stand up on your principles, Chris. Stupid man, that's what you just yeah, yeah. Um, so like I said, you know, don't get mad at the fans and don't cuss them out because you know what? WWE fans will remember that stuff. So if you get a chance, you know, you want to come back and work for WWE or whatever, hey, the fans are not gonna put up with it because they're gonna remember what you said about them. Yep. That man, that joker just yeah, I'm I'm disappointed oh. in him. I, I mean I like Tony Khan, but I'm disappointed in him when it boils down to it. Because I'm just like, man, why in the world you continue to sit down there and look at that and, and let that go? Man, that's on you, bro. That's on you. <laughs> All right, Chris, let's get some more comments, man. All right, man. All right, there you go right there. All right, let's see. Marshall Vandal. Okay, let me go on here. So it looks better on here for some reason. And then, all right, Marshall Vandal, sub Harry and Chris. What if next uh, Tuesday Lola Vice bring out uh, Camille or Jordan uh, Grace in a corner versus Natalia next week? That'll be very interesting. <clears throat> very interesting. All right, King Mike, what's up? King Mike World, man. My man from King Mike. King Mike, what's going on? All right, King Mike uh, is here in the house. Appreciate you, King Mike. I think he's mad because WCW was actually good. That's true. That's true, uh, King Mike. 100%. All right, Marshall Vandal. Uh, yeah, Tony Schiavone mad. What happened? Well, Tony Schiavone pissed off. He's pissed off because the AEW fans, I mean, WWE fans, is pretty much comparing AEW to WWE. And Tony Schiavone is pissed. But Tony Schiavone, hey, like me and Chris just said, it's all on him. Tony Schiavone, uh, he's yep. smart enough. He knows uh, he knows enough about this business that he can use his laurels, man, uh, his experience in the business to where he can actually say something to Tony uh, Tony Khan. And he, all he has to do is say, hey, look, man, I've been in this business for a long time, and that stuff that you're doing, that garbage is not going to work straight up. That's all he has to do. He ain't going to do it because that check too nice. He ain't trying to mess up his money up. Exactly, exactly. And so – as far as anything that uh, Tony Schiavone says, man, I, you know, I take it with a grain of salt, man. Let it be what it is. Let it be what it is. Uh, because, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't have no respect for him. But as far as in that situation, because Tony Tony Schiavone can make it better. Tony Schiavone could have went with yeah. David Crockett after that Ric Flair match. David Crockett done started back Crockett Promotions again, but he wanted uh, Tony Schiavone running it. Running it because he knows Tony Schiavone knows what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, but Tony Bunny declined after he seen those four, uh, three or four new promotions. When he came back, no, he had three new promotions uh, from uh, Tony Khan. He decided to take that instead of going over there and helping uh, David Crockett build back up Crockett Promotions. That's what I would have done. I wish he would have did that. But I understand, man. Millions talk. David Crockett probably had hundreds of thousands that he could pay him. <clears throat> Tony Khan probably said, "Hey, here's three more, three more million dollars in your uh, retirement." Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh... All right, Marcus Brown, Harry. Yeah, he could have said something and asked Tony Khan to run creative. 
Also, why does Mercedes say Monet is everything every week? It's like missionary position. Okay, we got it. Uh, you there for the money, no doubt. Marcus Brown, WCW 2000 was even more entertaining than AEW. Yes, it was. You know, I, I know a lot of people like to compare uh, compare WCW when it was going down, and it was bad. Yeah. Man. We remember that. It was, hard. It, was all time. it was bad, but I don't know if it was ever as bad as what AEW is doing now. <laughs> I, I just don't know. I, I, I can't really say that. It was bad. But this bad, mm. wow. I mean, unwatchable. I mean, I don't yeah. never, I, I don't never remember where we 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 sat there. It's just that WC, WWE was so much better than WW. I mean, than WCW at the time that you really that you. Oh, I'm gonna catch WCW a little bit later because everybody will record it. That's what we used to do, you know, record it for later on. But WWE was so much better. But W. WCW was not unwatchable. Yeah. had good storylines going on. Well, he's a what? Wow. Now I love that. I love that segment. I love that interview, uh, Chris. That interview segment. I got to get other thumbs up, bro. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be able to do what he says he's going to do, but I. I <laughs> I know he's gonna put forth every effort to uh, every effort to get it done. <clears throat> Got his crew behind him, Chris. All right, my man Jacob Henderson in the house. <clears throat> hey, what's going on? But you need some water, boy. I'm gonna go get some tea in a minute. Jacob Henderson, Tony Khan is like a dog. You tell a dog to don't poop on the grass, he still does it. If you ask Tony Khan, stop. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, stop out Tony Storm on TV. He's gonna do it, or uh, Bucks laugh out loud. That's true. All right, Marcus said, Harry and Chris, you know, AEW is one with Tony Khan is desperately asking fans to stay out the rampage on a wrestling app that only that has only 200 people in the audience. That was, that was just crazy. That was crazy. All right, my man King Mike says, at this point, no one in AEW cares about the art. They just want the money. That's true, King Mike. That's true, brother. Mm -hmm. No doubt. No doubt. Well, Everybody's time for money. Okay. But it's time for the greatest wide receiver in Carolina history, boy. And you better believe. <clears throat> I still believe, man. And me and Chris talked about this. I, I believe that he actually paid New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, you know, he greased their he greased their palm some kind of way. He did something. You know what? Uh, he, you know, trying to get Dean Ambrose. Or man, I see you with this whoop that trick stuff. Hey, boy, hey man, I'm trying to tell you, they should have did that when it's in Carolina, boy. That truck would have been off chain, boy. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, Dean Ambrose, uh, John Moxley, or whatever you want to call him today. John Moxley, I'm pretty sure that he that he had something to do with that. That John Moxley ended up getting that uh New Japan Pro Wrestling title. I would have I wouldn't have never thought that guy would get that title, Chris. He would have been the last last American I would have thought would win an IWGP championship. I know, right? That's crazy. We've had several, you know, Americans hold it, but I wouldn't have thought John Moxley would win it. Not especially with the style of wrestling that he has. Uh, so I'm pretty sure Tony Khan did that. You know, and they Tony Khan probably said, "Could you do this uh, for a favor? You know, for a favor to AEW because man, we need ratings. We need something. But you know what? That's not going to. See, but here's the thing. Here's the problem. Yeah, because he got that belt. He ain't gonna be on AEW TV. Exactly. Exactly. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Jacob Henderson says, and now people are dipping out of AEW, man. All right. King Mike uh, says, uh, WCW fell off around '99. Yeah, that's true. That's around the time I stopped watching. Uh, as far as consistent, consistently, uh, you know, consistently watching it, uh, King Mike. Around 90, between late 98, 99, I stopped watching it a lot. I didn't watch it uh, much. Chris kept watching it week to week, and uh, our, our best friend kept watching it week to week too. But I would watch it every now and then between 99 and 2001 when it ended. I watched every now and then just to see what kind of garbage that was com they was coming up with. And uh, seeing if Eric Bischoff or Vince Russo when he came in just flakes out because they did some very stupid stuff. But, man. You know, all I could do is, you know, I tried to hang in there with it, but I still don't remember WCW. It got bad. It really got really bad. Uh, but I don't remember any mess-ups like what Tony Khan is doing. 
signing Mercedes Monet when the company's uh, going downhill, you know, signing somebody for that type of money. Uh, let's see, you know, trying to put on a video, a, a silly video that it was somebody's out of the company to try to make, try to make themselves look good, try to use it as a, as a ratings ploy. Now they did do some dumb things, but wow. And Tony Khan took it to another level. I don't know what he got, man. Wow, what in the world is he hitting this dude with? All right. All right, WCW, I'm going to read it again, King Mike. WCW fell off around 99, but 93 to 98, um, WCW, I mean, EC, WCW was actually good. Yeah, it was very good. They uh, uh, forced WWE to go to the Attitude Era. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Marcus Brown, that's all. Uh, what is what is it? Uh, you got legends like Edge killing all legacy, the cap for the uh, company, telling us to focus on the positives while literally uh, showing a tape of a wrestler that's not in the company. Yes, yes. And Marcus Edge went out there, not Edge, but Adam Copeland, he went out there and made a fool of himself, man. He really did. And it's like he was begging. He was begging people to turn on AEW. He was begging them to like that company more than liking WWE. He said, this is where the real wrestlers work. And, you know, I don't know if some of you guys – uh, remember it or not, maybe King Mike does, but yeah, WCW had a little thing back probably around 93, 94, uh, maybe a little bit earlier than that. And WCW had a thing and it was called, it said, we wrestle. And that, that was true. That was true. Uh, you know, their little slogan, uh, you know, they said, we wrestle here and that was good. But yeah. What you uh, talking about, man? No, so, uh, let's see. Marcus Brown said, that's all uh, what, is, what it is. You got legends like Edge killing all legacy uh, to count for the company, telling us to focus on the positives while literally uh, showing a tape of a wrestler that's not in the company. Yeah, Edge, man. Adam Copeland got out there when he got out there a couple weeks ago. He pretty much was begging everybody, man, to watch it and talk about this is where wrestling happens. This is where the uh, best wrestlers wrestle. wrestle oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that, man. That, that was bad, man. That was awful. And, yeah, King Mike said earlier, WCW fell off around 99, which he's, he's right. But between mm -hmm. 93 and 98, WCW was actually good. They forced WWE to go to the Attitude Era. That's true. They was really good, man. They, you know, WCW was really good during that time. Uh, let's see, Jacob Henderson, laugh out loud, Harry. I uh, need some uh, whooping uh, the water. <laughs> uh, oh, drink it, man. I definitely do. Uh, Chris, after these comments, man, I'm gonna go get, get some drink. Jacob Henderson said, "Chris dance." Let's see, Marcus Brown, Harry, and Chris. Now Kenny Omega is getting tired of the BS. Just watch, he's gonna be the scapegoat uh, like Cody was. He might be, man. I don't know if Kenny Omega – and Kenny don't have to stick around for it. He really don't. Uh, Jacob Henderson, yeah, Marcus, Kenny is not paying attention anymore. JL, not to change the subject, but why are we talking about AEW? Well, JL, we're not really talking about it, man. It's just a little uh, – just a little something small here, man. Just something very small in, inside the conversation. Jacob Henderson, Harry, Tony Khan has burned, burned his company like Eric Dunn at, at WCW. Yes, sir. Jacob Henderson, but WCW is still memorable. Uh, what's going to be memorable for AEW in the coming years? Maybe Sting debut. That's that's it, laugh out loud. That's true. Sting was, you know, when it boils down to it, you know, me and Chris have talked about this too. Even though CM Punk was in that company, man, the biggest guy they had in the company, the biggest name they had in the company, the biggest star was Sting. That was the biggest star in that company. And I still believe to this day, you know, and I, nobody's going to tell me different that uh, Tony Khan did that as a publicity stunt. He talked Sting into that retirement thing. Sting didn't want to retire right, uh, then and there, guys. I do not believe that. I don't believe that, that Sting wanted to retire, man. I think Tony Khan, I think Tony Khan was behind that thing 100% straight up. Uh, Marcus Brown, yeah, when Omega wants out, AEW is super dead. And you notice that Sting haven't said anything, man? Sting haven't tweeted. He haven't said nothing about uh, this thing with the with Tony. No. You know, so I'm just like, man. All right, uh, King Mike says, uh, I remember they said um, where the big boys play. Yes, sir, King yep, Mike. That's what they said that slogan too. Yes, sir. Yeah, they had some great slogans, man. All right, but I think that that one what I was talking about was in the 80s. So, yeah, you probably, you know, you probably don't remember that. You know, you've been younger than Chris and everything. Uh, but, yeah, Jacob Henderson said, just like AEW begging us to support Mercedes Monet ticket sale. Laugh out loud. Yes. Man, that, that – Man, what in the world are you eating, Chris? You eating some chips, man. Yeah, man. Chips, <laughs> well, you talking about this guy right here can eat some chips, guys. 
This guy can eat some potato chips. Boy, man. I want chip a dipper, boy. Yeah, him and his wife, boy, they can get down on some chips. But man, I, I just, I just don't know. Yeah, I, I'm done with AEW right now. Mm. Not no more. All right, NXT, man, we we looking at a great match, a pretty good match. Trick, they don't call it great, man. Pretty good match. What are you trying to get trick done in, boy? Hey, I want trick, man. No, I don't really want trick to lose, man. I, I just don't know, Chris. I don't know who I really want to win this match. Man, what? You torn here? Yeah, I'm torn in between this, man. Man, what the strong face lady is, boy. She ain't out helping, boy. Hey, she'll, she'll be around soon. Boy, that thing on trick woman. You got to admit, they look good together, Chris. Yeah, those two, look, they actually look good together. He makes her look good. She makes him look good. Mm. You gotta watch it because I'm pretty sure a lot of I'm sh- pretty sure a lot of these females want to get want a man. <laughs> nah, you just can't say females. I'm sure guys want him too, probably. <laughs> you know, so yeah. But, yeah. I just but don't nobody want that strong face lady, but that's JL woman, boy. <laughs> JL love doggone JL love last legend, boy. I wonder how how long they gonna go uh go out to ten o'clock, man. This overtime thing that we have going on here. Oh snap! That's a good question, man. I don't know. There needs to be a winner, man. That was nice. That was mm-hmm. nice. But yeah, we appreciate everybody coming on. All right, let me uh, get this one more uh, comment. I think. Let me see who I got. All right, my man Jacob Henderson said, Harry and a uh, a mind reader, how you know how chips sound? <laughs> hey, man, I just know Chris eats them a lot. And so <laughs> I hear things crunching, man. I hear, heard a little crunching. All right, King Mike's world, Isaiah kind of thick, though. That's I mean, no, uh, not Isaiah. I'm sorry about that, King Mike. Uh, King Mike says, Lash kind of thick, though. Yes, she is. That's true. She got a nice body on her, man. Straight that's up. Strong. Can't get over that strong face, yeah, though. She got a strong jawline, man. I will say that. But you know what? She's still attractive, though, Chris. Even with that, even with that strong face. She's, she's an attractive. Ooh. She's an attractive lady. But lady, I can't sit here and say she's not attractive. Not the attractive, most attractive in AEW, but she's pretty attractive. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, you can't you can't ignore that she has strong features, man, in a, in a face. You can't ignore that. Hey, right. boy, Trey Williams really trying to whoop that trick, man. Throwing him up against the dog on cage and everything. Yeah, he's he he trying, he trying to throw him up. <laughs> they hit him with dog on bulldog, man. What in the world? Neck breaker? Goodness sake. Goodness. And Mike K Mike backing up on that uh strong face, Chris. <laughs> K Mike says, honestly, her and Trick look like uh, look alike in the face. That's true. That is true, K Mike. Hey, I man. thought about that. I did not want to say that. I thought about that too. <laughs> strong You're face, Chris. Uh, hey. K Mike says look alike in the face. <laughs> that is true. Strong face, boy. Hey, maybe he's looking for a woman that looked like his mama, man. That that could have been it. Oh, 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 some guys do. You know, not saying some kind of weird fetish thing or whatever. Some guys end up with women that look like somebody, you know, their mom or sister or somebody, man. Yeah, well, hey, you said trick mama was a strong face lady too. I don't know, Chris. Well, you got me choking over here, boy. I don't know, man. I got me over here choking, boy. <laughs> oh my god, oh, Jacob Henderson says, uh, strong face Harry got an idea for a new wrestler and APW. Welcome to unknown strong face. Laugh out loud. Oh, oh man, goodness. all right. Marcus Brown yeah. says, uh, King Mike, I will still would try to holler at Lash. Super, uh, she's super thick. Yeah, she's not bad at all. King Mike is cracking Ooh. up. Marshall Vandal, Harry, Harry, you see Jacob's comment. Which one, man? I think I got both of them. I, I might have missed one. All right, Jacob Henderson did say, Chris, you see that Laugh Out Loud Harry is stacked on Trick Williams. 
this is a slow burn story to be a fan laugh out loud oh yeah yeah uh, stoked on uh i think you said stoke on uh trick williams yeah i didn't get that one but i appreciate you uh, reminding me of uh, of that uh of that marshall uh um, you think he's bottom man boy i have no clue i have no clue oh Carl, whoa nice man nice boot put that leg right there man right there at the right time now see this one the strong face lady see this one the strong face lady need to come out here boy <laughs> But what in the world, man? Carmelo guys are coming from everywhere. Wow. Man, he should have DDT'd him right there. And then took the uh, chair and then beat him, uh, then grab him, just beat him, smash him in the face with the chair. That would have worked. These guys going to cause uh, cause Trick to lose. Carmelo with the doggone, uh, with the doggone chair, man. Oh, smart oh, move, Trey. Grief. Knee right, right up on the on the chair, man. Right up inside, upside the head. I have three stars for this one, Chris. Yeah, I got to go with three stars on that boy. Goodness sake, man, Carmelo! But you getting beat down, man. Your your former homeboy is beating you down. I don't know who was the leader when y'all was growing up, but uh, <laughs> I think I think the student boy is beating the teacher. He taking you out. Yeah, that's yeah, a bad bro. feeling, man. That's a bad feeling. I can tell you that now. <laughs> but hey, say that happened to me, boy. Back in '84, boy, you got that took right. me out. Boy. I thought I'm the baddest thing around, but them chokers hey, hey, took, my, took my right me hand out. man, who I thought was, was a wimp, boy. Had they been that joke got in the fight, boy, I was like, why? Well, I said this fool on learn, learn some new moves, boy. <laughs> He be like, hey, like this fool put me in the mouth, boy. I ain't never been ready for everything I threw at him, boy. I'm like, what in the world's going on, guy? <laughs> <laughs> like you was supposed to be beating me, boy. I was, I was your leader for two years, boy. You was supposed to be beating me. I'm like, get the state, boy. That gave me that joke. Gave me the fight of my life, boy. I never forget that fight, boy. But Harry said that joke did layers of bisco on you, boy. That joke <laughs> gave me the fight of my life, boy. I was just like, boy, that joke was shot the heck out of me, man. Everybody was like, wow, boy. Everybody was, whew. that was crazy. All right, Marcus Brown, Harry and Chris. Yeah, you got Mercedes going on Twitter, telling the fans where would uh, she appear next because Tony Khan doesn't know how to advertise his talent. Word is Melo dating that Jordan chick. Yes, yeah, he is. He's dating Kalani Jordan. He's got a better end of the deal, you ask me. <laughs> Kalani pretty fine. Yeah, he's dating Kalani. All right, Mag Magnum says good cage match, a solid three stars, no doubt about oh, yeah, it. Man, man, man. It was pretty good tonight, Chris. What'd you it give was, it, man? man. I'll give it I'll give it three and a half stars tonight, man. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Three and a half stars, man. At least three and a half stars. It was really good all the way down from all the women's matches, all the way down to the cage match. Ivar match yeah. uh, with uh, Josh Briggs was uh, very mm -hmm. good. Uh, you know, hey, yeah. all these matches just about uh deserves a thumbs up with the star ratings that we gave them. Uh, you know, they everything was good, mm -hmm. man. I had no problem with it. Uh, but yeah, we appreciate everybody coming in, man, rocking with us tonight here with the straight up wrestling show. My man, Mad Magnum, my man, Marcus Brown. All right, yep. our man, Marshall Vandal, and King Mike from King Mike's World, guys. Like I said, go check out his podcast, guys, if you haven't uh, did that. Do the same thing for my man, Braden, and my man, Will Rally Sport, guys. You guys, uh, I'm you, I'm sure, you, you know, they've been with us for a while. I'm pretty sure you all know uh, their podcast. All right, but, yeah, King Mike, let's see. Uh, let me see. Let's get some more comments. Here. Oh, we got more comments. Yeah, we got some more. Let's see. Oh, yeah, go ahead and get the rest of them. Go ahead and get who else in the com in this comment section, and then I'll get the last uh, comment. Jay Hill's in the comment. James yep. Hill's in uh, out there, man. Who else? Uh, Green Marcus Randall Brown, in the man, house. Man, Green, Ra Green Randall. Yes, sir. Uh, who else? Uh, said Brayden King, Mike. Uh, who else in here, man? I think that strong face lady. AJ, she AJ Styles. AJ, AJ Styles. Scales. AJ uh, Scales, uh, man. Scales, man. Scales. Scales. <laughs> I mean, AJ Scales, man. Why I call him Styles, man? Goodness sake, I can't. Everybody with AJ, I'm beginning to. AJ Frost, I either call him AJ Frost or AJ Styles, man. Like I say, <laughs> all right, man. But yeah. So yeah, we had a few other people, man. I can't really uh, think of it right now. But yeah, uh, let's see. Marcus Brown, Harry, Chris, are we in agreement that we got Trick winning the NXT Championship next week? He could. I think he so. Could. Because Dragon Ball is being moved up to the main roster to get booked like Gunther. That could happen. All right, King Mike says, where's Jakari Jackson? Man, does she wrestle anymore? Yes, sir. She's still with him. Uh, 
King Mike, but she didn't show up this week. I think she was with him two weeks ago, last time I seen her, or last week, you know, right, right before Stand and Deliver, or she was on Stand and Deliver with him, uh, last I remember. All right, Mag Magnum says, I agree with you guys. NXT gets three and a half stars. Yes, sir, Mag. Appreciate you, appreciate you uh, coming in with your rating tonight. All right, Marcus Brown, K uh, King Mike, Jakari was there earlier in the Norm match against Dijak. Oh, okay, so she was here tonight. Oh, yeah, that's that's a pretty nice-looking lady, too. I think she looks better than uh, the strong-faced lady, but, you know, hey, <laughs> that's just my opinion. But, man, hey, I'm not going to put down Trey Williams. You know, hey, if I ever met, if we ever ran into Trey Williams and he's with her, like I say, I'm going to show them respect, man, and be like, hey, you got yeah, your good woman there. Straight up, man, straight up. Uh, but, yeah, we definitely appreciate each and every one of you guys coming in, man. And, hey, tomorrow night I will. I'm not sure if Chris is going to be available or not. But yeah, I will nah, be. Uh, I, tomorrow, bro. Yeah, I think he'll be on. I think he'll be. I think he'll be putting on. I think he'll be throwing some dog on. Uh, throwing some tablets up. <laughs> throwing tablets, computers, and computers, and everything else. Boy. Yeah, I got there, uh, uh, monitoring the dog on. Uh, monitoring, monitoring. Uh, the dog on. Uh, what 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 section is that over there, Chris? Where y'all you copying stuff. and everything like that, man? Printing and everything. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> So Chris, Chris got a lot of work to do tomorrow, man. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be at work. But yeah, I'm definitely going to come on with AEW because look, I am going to be monitoring that thing. Uh, everybody, everybody here, I think we need to monitor it. We need to watch and see what's going on. Uh, they definitely need to call up some people. They need to call up some people. Uh, Tony Khan needs to get some people in there who's not a yes man that's going to come in there and tell them about his company and telling them, hey, you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. Uh, look, I know me and Chris, me and Chris tried to talk to him when he came, when he came to Greenville. And it was at Collision. And he came out right at the end, right, you know, same thing that he did this time for Ring of Honor, but he was really desperate this last time. But he yeah, came he, out. He, and didn't, he, didn't beg, he didn't beg in Greenville. No, he didn't. Well, he pretty much came uh, right at the end of Ring of Honor when he was in Greenville, uh, you know, when he came to Greenville. But, at, look, I wish he – I mean, me and Chris, we was trying to get a hold of him. Chris knew one of the security guards there. And the security guard, his friend, the security guard, had up and packed up and I think had left. At that time, I think it was still ones out there, but he wasn't out there. So, yeah. But yeah, me and Chris were trying to get a hold of him. And this was right before what, like the last couple matches that he came out and he thanked mm -hmm. the fans for being there. And I, in all level of respect, went way up for Tony Khan because Tony Khan yeah. stayed there till almost like 12 o'clock. You know, it was around 11 yeah. 50. He came out there and, you know, and pretty much uh, thanked the fans and everything, man. He, I, I like I said, I have much respect for him for staying there with his product, staying there with his wrestlers. I give it to yeah. him. All the way with that. that all day. But, but as far as I mean, as far as just looking and everything, yeah, we well, run stuff. Bro. And yeah, mm. me and Chris, we went to the back. Everything we trying to get to him. We wanted to talk to him because if we would have talked to him, you better believe we would have talked to him straight up about man. Hey, you need some help. You need some help. You need somebody to come in here and mm -hmm. uh, what to do. We would ask him, hey, go go sit down. Uh, you know, let's go and go to one of these restaurants uh, here in Greenville, man. Sit down with us. Have if you got time, have a cup of coffee. Uh, you know, uh, you know, tea or, or do, do something, you know, go to Waffle House with us, hang out with us, and man, we would have tossed some game to dog on that joke straight up, man. Straight up, mm -hmm. all right. Now, I know uh, King Mike would, I know King Mike will be going off on him about it, but King Mike, oh, yeah. too, he'll tell him like it is, too. Let's see. And I know there's some other guys in here that do the same thing. Uh, let's see, let's see who we got, man. Who we got? Let's see, let me look at the rest of these comments, Chris. Let's see. Harry and Chris, are we in agreement that we got Trick winning? We got that. King Mike says, where's Jakari Jackson got that one? Uh, let's see. Marcus said, King Mike. Okay, you got that one. All right. Uh, Mag says, great show, Chris and Harry, with no power outage. Yeah, exactly. Had that power outage yesterday, but I didn't like that at all. Have an awesome evening, uh, everyone. Uh, appreciate right, that, Mag. You too. King Mike said, I don't think Tony wants to listen to anyone. You're exactly right, King Mike. You don't. You're exactly right. And that's, and that's the reason why he needs somebody in his ear that he's not going to expect somebody like, you know, somebody that comes off and, you know, I know you like me and Chris, I mean, you up in Philly, man. I mean, you, you know, you, you from the streets like, us, oh, man, we, we gonna, we gonna tell it like it is. I'm not going to try to scare him or anything. Cause we see any little thing scares him. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm yeah. having to see him punk. You don't want to try to scare the dude or whatever, but you want to pretty much sit him down and say, you know, and, and try to uh, talk to him, you know, at, from a different perspective and see if he will listen to you. Because uh, these wrestlers and these people that's in the wrestling business don't seem to be getting through to them. They really don't. Mm -hmm. And that and that guy, that that and that black guy, man, that Washington guy, they oh, hired uh, that, with that last name, Washington, uh, he's a yes man. 
Kip Washington, mm-hmm. whatever his name is. That's all he is. He's just like Tony Khan. And I remember mm-hmm. when he hired him, everybody say he's just like him, uh, you know, on his podcast. And I listened to some of his think, podcasts. Think like him and everything. I think like him, just like him. So he went up. All he did was got hired by Tony Khan. And everything that Tony Khan is doing, he he just pretty much uh, he just pretty much let him know that everything he's doing is brilliant. That's all it is to it. That's all it is to it. And that's who <laughs> loves this guy. But yeah, he needs he needs some people like us that coming in that's gonna be like, uh uh-uh. uh, no. Dude, you wanna you wanna be out of business? Exactly. So that's the reality of it. You're gonna be out of business in no time. You cannot continue to pour money behind this, you know, uh behind this dumpster. You know, uh-huh. I know you got a lot of money, but hey, nobody has uh nobody has enough money to burn forever. Exactly, man. So that's just that's just crazy. All right, let's see. Da, 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 da. Where are we, Christopher Burton? All right, yeah. Uh, King Mike says I don't think Tony wants to listen to anyone. Marcus Brown, Mag Magnum, good night, bro. Uh, King Mike uh-huh. World says facts cracking up. All right, Mag Magnum says uh, Marcus Brown, you too, sir. Jacob Henderson, okay. Uh, let's see, Marcus Brown, Jakari Jackson looks like a combination of Mercedes and Kiara Hogan. And uh, Jacob Henderson says NXT three and a half stars. Yes, sir, three and a half stars. But guys, yes, we appreciate each and every one of you guys coming in, man. But me and Chris, we're gonna get out of here tonight. And man, I might come on a little bit later. I might do a little something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna make any promises. If I do, it'd be some a short, a little short thing. I wanted to come on a little earlier, but I didn't. But Chris and I, we're gonna get off. And knowing Chris and myself, we probably gonna talk about a few things. And uh, then I probably just start setting up and for the rest of the night. I don't know. Just. Hang out, chill out, maybe watch some uh, stuff on TV, man. Get my mind off of wrestling because tomorrow, well, I'm gonna <laughs> and and give it and hey. and Chris is not going to get to see it, Chris. So uh, I'll let Chris know because, hey, Chris needs to know. We need to monitor this thing as it goes forward. But to tell you the truth, what can any of us do besides watch this thing burn to, burn to the ground? Is it burn to the ground? God, don't That's all we can do. All right, Jacob. Uh, did Jacob say one more thing? All right, Jacob says, uh, uh, laugh out loud. Chris will be here tomorrow, guys. No, he will not. No, 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 no. Jacob said, final show out the dynasty pay per view this Sunday, Harry and Chris. <laughs> Jacob Henderson says, burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Y'all tripping, boy. Y'all tripping. Let's go ahead, fair enough. All right, man. We are out of here. We'll talk to you guys later. Stay straight up. Peace. Peace. <laughs>